my life this morning was like a little Disney film. I can't believe it. I drove through the village, right? And there were two foxes just sitting on the side of the road through my village, just sitting there, like, looking at... Because it was much lighter again this morning. Then I went a bit further along, and there was one of those... Um, oh, not a skunk. What's the black and white one? Badger. Badger. There was a huge badger, and it was like a, it was almost like going in slow motion like this in a Disney film. And then I went a bit further along, got some rabbits all jumping around, and then two little reindeer. Well, they weren't reindeers, they were monk jacks. And it was like, oh, my God. Then, of course, I get to Hannah's village, and there's two city foxes ripping the bags apart and everything. Anyway, it was just like, like I say, it was just like a Disney film. Anyway, good morning. How are you? Lovely, uh, lovely uh, show for you today. Would you like to have a look at the menu with me? Here we go. Coming up today with John Scott... Uh, we've got the Sweetheart Neck Blast. Oh, now, I've got to explain. We've got to say thank you to Jennifer Taylor for stepping in at the last minute because Joy was supposed to be in today. She's got a very bad chest infection, so Jennifer stepped to the breach. But I'm quite glad because I haven't seen Jennifer for months and months and months. So we've got a Sweetheart Neck Blouse to start with. Then, now, I, I know I said we don't see any winter sale fabrics on air again, but I've got an hour of winter sale fabrics at 9 o'clock. At 10 o'clock, have you got your microphone switched off, Hannah? At 10 o'clock, uh, it's got sewing and sashko. Not sashiko, it's sashko. It's my first ever show at uh, doing sashko. And then at 11 o'clock, you've got quilting essentials. Uh, that's just with me all on my own. Now, got lots to tell you. Got lots to tell you. Um, where shall I start? Which one shall I start with? Let's go out and get in touch. You can get in touch. And we love you to do that. We love you to interact within the show. What you need to do is you need to go to our website, www.sewingquarter.com. You click on Watch the Show. It'll happen in a minute. There you go. Watch today's show. Then you click on there, you get a bigger version of me. Then what you need to do is you need to scroll down the page to Message the Studio. You see there, now what you do is you write your message in there. You, at your end, you can keep typing as much as you like. But at our end, it cuts you off. Ha! At our end, it cuts you off. After about 100, um, hello. Um, I, I cut you off after about 140 letters. So just be aware of that they, those messages go straight through to producer Hannah upstairs, and she'll then send them straight through to me on my uh, tablet on the desk. Just scrolling down the page, see that way it says products from today's show. There are all the items I had yesterday, so they'll all disappear in a minute. And then today's items, as we introduce them, will appear there. You can click on them and pop them in your basket. Um, talk about popping them in your basket. If you go to the top of the page, while we do... Oh, there you go, that's in your basket there. Go to the top of the page, you see where it says add to basket there. Any, uh, when we're doing a live show, live auction, it will appear in that screen there. Click on it, it goes in your basket. Now, don't be frightened to check out because you can check out as many times as you like during the day, 24 hours, for one PMP of £2.95. It's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. So if you see something in the 8 o'clock hour, think, I want that, buy it, check it out. See something in the 9 o'clock hour, see it, buy it, check it out. You'll only pay one PMP because it all, it's all co coagulated at uh, midnight tonight. Uh, now, uh, if you want to get in touch uh, with a picture or if you want to get in touch with a longer message, you can email studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com. Now, as you know, it's, or you might not know, it's our birthday on the 31st of January. We'll have been here for one whole year. And we're having a little, well, we're having lots and lots, excuse a whole week of celebrations, but we're having a competition and it's called Birthday Block Bonanza. And what we're asking you to do is design and make a block that we can then sew into a massive quilt. It's got to be 12 inches finished, but we don't want you to finish. So can you make it 12 and a half inches big to include, include the seam allowance? It can be uh, patchwork, it can be painting, it can be embroidery, it can be English paper piece, it can be foundation, whatever you want it to be. Uh, as long as the finished design is 12 inches with the, with the seam allowance so we can sew it together. Um, now, I've got lots to tell you. One, you won't get it back. Two, it has to be 12 inches finished. Do not finish it. Do not wad it. Do not quilt it. Don't finish it. Um, you won't get it back. Has to be in by the 20th. Has to be in the 20th. In fact, all the terms and conditions are on the website. So if you go on the website, go to the front page, scroll right down to the bottom, and it'll tell you uh, the address to send it to. But it has to be in by the 20th. So what date is it? It's the 14th day, isn't it? So you've got less than a week now. You've got less than a week to get it into us. So that's what, that's the birthday block. Get it, we had loads, beautiful loads of them. But don't let that put you off. Get them all coming in, get them all coming in. Now, have a look at this slide. There you go. Now, don't worry, don't worry. We're not coming off Freeview. We're not coming off YouTube. We're not coming off um, 
on our internet or anything, we're just adding to our platform. So from tomorrow morning at eight o'clock, we will also be on Sky 678, because we're on Freeview 78, 678, it all ties in nicely, doesn't it? Uh, now that is, that, I've got a big announcement at half past 12 today to tell people, I'm just telling you, my Freeview viewers, as a little bit of a, you know, temptation before, because I am doing, at 12.30 today, if you see the adverts, I am doing a Facebook Live, but it won't be a long half an hour one, like normal, just be me going, quick, 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 this is this, this is, and then I'm going off. Right, okay, have a look at what we're doing on our first show with Jennifer. It's that lovely blouse. Now, uh, the pattern is brilliant because the, the pattern um, has three different, it's all the basic, same basic blouse, but it has three different versions. This is lovely. And we had a lady, I, I'm ever so sorry, I can't find your picture anywhere. We had a lady who made this in a size 24 and it looked gorgeous. And normally I wouldn't say add bulk to, Anyway, she looked fantastic. She looked absolutely fantastic. So Jennifer's, what we're going to do is Jennifer's going to show us techniques. She's going to show these lovely sleeves and buttonholes, buttonholes. But I've got fabrics and I've got patterns, so come with me. Right, we'll start with the patterns. Right, so here we go. As per usual, we've got it in the two different size ranges. It's a butterick pattern, as you can see. Now, that tattooed lady is the actual lady who does it. It's her pattern, and Greta. she's very, very famous. Greta. Greta, is she called? I'm sure Greta, Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> Gertie, is it? Gertie, that's it. Gertie, that's it. Anyway, there it is, you see. It's in the graphics. Gertie Sizes. Oh, I thought her name was Gertie Sizes. <laughs> Buttery, buttery, Mrs. Sweetheart neckline blouse patterns by Gertie sizes. Four to 12 is one size, which is this one. And then I've got, oh, now it must have been 20, size 20 the lady did, not size 22, so it must be a size 20. Um, anyway, and then the, have you got to put the other size in this one? It comes in the two different sizes. If you want to know how much fabric you need, just get in touch with the size that you need, whatever. Also, is the back of the pattern on the website? Because normally, what they do is they take a picture of the back of the pattern and you can go to it on the website and you can zoom in and have a look for yourself. But I will look, I will look, for, I will look for you for later. I will look at the yardaging later, metering later. Right, fabrics, very quickly. Now, you'll be wondering why this lady is standing behind me here. <laughs> Hello, lady. It's because we've got this, this fabric for sale, but someone has lost the sample. So I've sh we're showing you on the jacket. You're not obviously, you're not obviously um, getting the jacket. It, we're selling it by the half metre, but we're just showing you. It's one of our most popular fabrics ever. It's £3.55 half metre. It's called Red Poppies on Black Background. Obviously, we're selling the fabric by the half metre. You're not getting the jacket. It's, we're just showing you the design of the fabric. It is lovely. Even Paul, you know Paul Clark, he's got, not little Paul, but Paul Clark, he's got a jacket, a, a shirt made out of that. He's got a shirt made out of that. And little Paul, if he wore that, well, it'd be too big for him, that jacket, but he's got some lovely little red bother boots that he's wearing at the moment, little Paul. Not Paul Clark, little Paul, that is. Right, but I've also got these fabrics quickly. I've got to run through them very, very quickly. So, where shall I start? I might just move that to there and that to there. So, I've got two with a bird print on. We couldn't decide whether it was a pelican or a penguin the other day. Not a pelican. It's called White Birds on Navy, though. It's not a parrot. Three pounds and 99 pence for half a metre. Now, if you're new to us, if you're new to us, we sell our fabric in half metre increments. So, if you're buying on the web and you want half a metre, you put in one unit. If you want one metre, you put in two units. Now, we thought we still had an issue about buying more than a metre and a half on the web. We always say you have to ring the call centre. But someone put on Facebook yesterday, uh, it wasn't Sandra, was it? I can't remember now. Said, oh, she managed to buy six metres of fabric yesterday. So, so um, just try it and see what happens. Just try it and see what happens. But if you, until we've got confirmation, I would say ring up, because it's a free phone landline, 0800 112 44 30 Next one is bird, blue birds on a white background. I, I'll say white, it's more of an ivory, really. It's not a pure, pure white. It's kind of an ivory colour. So that's the navy birds on white, 3 99 for half a metre. Then if I go here next, so this is white sprigs on navy, which is lovely. There you go. It's called White Ditsy Florals on a Blue Background. It'll change their minds, so I don't know. 3 99 
But then you see, you see, I've got a good idea because we then have this one, which is the complete opposite. So if you were doing that blouse, I'd be tempted to do the little tie bit or the infill. I'm busy looking at the blouse, not you, sorry. See on the one that Jennifer's made, it's got a little tie across the front. On the pattern, there's also one with an infill. Maybe you could use the opposite fabric. We'll look more in a minute, but here we go. So that one there is the ditzy, blue ditzy floral on white background. Okay. But if you're not a blue girl, you're more of a red girl. Um, I've got red ditzy on white background, which I'd still say was more of an ivory cream than a, than a what, pure white. Red ditzy floral on white background. 3 99 for half a meter. Okay. And then the opposing one of that is the white flowers on the red background. So you could either do it the blue birds and the white birds mix, the blue flowers and the white flowers mix, or the blue, uh, the red and the white. Is this one? That's nice, I like that one. Three ninety nine white ditzy florals on red fabrics. Then I've got one on all, its, all on its own here, which is the one Jennifer's used, which is the one Jennifer's used. So this one is pink. The only pink option, there's no, there's, oh, and it's the most limited as well. Trust Jennifer to pick that one. Three ninety nine for half a meter. There it is. Oh, that's that one made out of that one. Uh, right now. Oh, and I've also got, I've got thread bundle before I go anywhere. Oh, I thought I was going to go over into the picture then, but there you go. Uh, I've got a little thread bundle here for you. You can have a look at the thread bundle. I'll move on the thread bundles. There you go. Gorgeous thread bundles there. You've got five different threads in the bundle. And we've bundled it up like that. Eight pounds and 99 pence. Oh, there goes over there. Eight pounds and 99 pence for the five threads. Right. Right. Oh, <laughs> Amelia, talk to me. Hello, Hello. you. Mwah. Happy New Year. Happy Apparently, New I put Year. this in the wrong place. So. Bring her over. But yesterday, we had to have it on that side, didn't we, for some reason? Right. Lovely. It's gorgeous. It's lovely, isn't it? Um, how have you been, first of all? Very well, thank I've you. I've seen for ages. I know it's been a while, Have they been keeping us apart? Did I you... missed you. I heard that you'd asked not to work with me. <laughs> not at all. Not at all, John, not at all. Yes. Anyway, it's lovely to see you. Really, oh, it's really lovely good to see you. To see you too. How's really the back? How's the, I've got, in a minute. In, I'll be with you in a minute. How's the book tour going? It was really good. Um, and also, it's confirmed that I am going to be in Germany. Um, so the book is being translated as we speak. Into German. Into German. I could have done that for you. Ah. Carl is cranked her Dr. Weber Kompsubin. No, what I said was Carl is very poorly and the doctor's come to see him. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can. Uh, that, and I can remember that uh, Spitz is a dog and Susie is a cat. That's all I can remember really? from all my German at school. Anyway, let's remember. get on. Let's get on. Let's have a look at the pattern first. Yeah, of all. it's a beautiful, beautiful pattern. Really lovely. Very flattering. Which one should I show for? I'll show the four to six here, just because they're both the same. Oh, the four to six crossbar, ten to twenty here. Right. So there are three different versions, aren't yes, there? Yes, there are. Yes. So there's this one here, which is like a lovely. Um, Summertime, sweetheart neckline. With bias, bias finished arm holes. Oh, okay, so, so there's know. no so sleeves at all. She's got no a lovely sleeves finished on that arm one. Hole. Right, so there's that one. Then there's this one here, though. Remember, Amanda made this one. This one has the, the blouse. This is what I was talking about, the infill. So you have the blouse made out of one fabric, and then there's an infill that goes into the neck yeah, in a it's contrast like a ruffled, fabric. It's like a ruffled collar, isn't yes, it? Yes, but it sits, it sits inside. Inside It sits the inside neckline, like yeah. an infill. And then the one that you've done here, now you can't see on her, this is the designer, the lady who designed it. You can't see it so much on there, can no, you? But, the but there is, is like a 1950s, oh, you can see it on yours though, like tie around. Yeah. Now, is, obviously that comes untied. Yes, it? yeah. That comes untied as well. So, um, not that you'd wear it untied, but oh, look, there you go. Well, that's a lovely picture. Um, so, it's a really lovely, so if it's just an accentuation. So, you can either do it in the same fabric, or like I was saying, if you choose the blue one, you could put blue, if you choose the blue one with white flowers, you could do the tie in, in the white colour, one with the yeah, blue flowers yeah. or a different colour. That so would look lovely. All actually. of those options, but somebody wants to know the, the most you'll need fabric wise, size 20 in A is two metres. Two metres, two metres, that's, yeah. that that's all you'll need for the biggest size, isn't it? Yes, um, obviously, right. if you do, if you go for B, you will have to buy a contrast fabric as well, mm -hmm. uh, just for that infill, but you might have something in your stash or something you want to use that. Yeah, absolutely. That's yeah, good, so... isn't it? And, and if you've got a wider fabric, that's two metres for our width. Oh, actually, what width of fabric were they? They were only 44, weren't they? 
Yeah, yeah. so you need, because it's uh, it's 160 if it's 150 uh, yeah, so salvage, you, oh, so you still, so you still, still need, have to buy two yeah. metres from us, yeah. But so. then if you're going to be doing your pattern matching, you need to allow for that difference anyway. So, um, yes. yes, two metres is your safe option, definitely, guys. Okay, brilliant. All right. Uh, okay then, so there's a bit, a couple of things that I want to go through with you. So yes. the first one, um, I definitely want to do the sleeves because yes. they're really lovely. Those wrap over sleeves. And they look difficult. They do look difficult, but oh, um, oh careful! Super cute, aren't they? Very flattering. They're like a wrap over tulip sleeve, aren't they? Look. Mm. Oh, have you, have you got? Oh, there you go. Wrap over tulip. Cute, isn't it? Yeah. Now, very good for ladies who don't like the top of their arms, yeah. but also don't want a big, heavy sleeve heavy head or sleeve. anything like yeah. that, yeah? So very we're going to do the sleeve. So we're going to do the sleeve, and the other thing I want to cover is, is buttonholes. Yeah. Um, but before we get to the sleeve, I just want to quickly do some construction for you, just in case it's oh, the yes. first yes, time yes, you've yes, done yes. your dressmaking and you're a bit like, oh, what's it all about? Um, so I've done the front uh, pattern here. So this is the same for all your variations, whether that's A, B or C. Yeah. So you've got that lovely sweetheart neckline there. It's just really, really lovely. Um, now, don't be concerned about these lines. These are just guides for you to know what you're doing. So we've got right. two darts here. What I really like about this is there's a lot of darts going on. So you've got your, your bust dart here and you've got your waist dart here. But on the back, there's actually four darts. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. Really does oh, sort of shape the back. It's gorgeous. Really nice. So you've got two on this side and two on the other side there. Um, but it really does give that extra shape in the back. But also the fantastic thing about those, now maybe I shouldn't say this, but yeah. when I used to be slimmer, Yes. And I used to buy Paul Smith shirts, right? He did that feature. He always put darts in the back. Then I put a bit of weight on, right? <laughs> and I just undid the darts. <laughs> and it Top tip. And I did, and, and I did, so you haven't cut away those darts inside. No, have I you? haven't They're cut just, them away. So if you ever think, oh, I'm just a bit, just let one, I could just let one Set either side that, down. Yeah, yeah. It just gives you that just little. Get a bit of room. Yeah, bit of ease. Bit of room. Just a little tip there for little if you get like tip, me. Top tip. And then when I lost the weight again, just sit them back up again, yeah. I love it. Right. Um, so you need to make sure that you're transferring, obviously, all of these marks. So not only your dark positions, but also these triangles here. You've got your dots there. All of these are very important for when you're building. They're your building blocks, basically. Yes, so don't course. be afraid of them. And don't ignore them. Don't ignore them. So um, for our sleeve, um, our little triangle here is really important. And then also you can see that we've got a series of dots here. We've got 12, 10, 8, 6, and 4. Those yeah. are your sizes. So obviously I'm cutting a size 12. So it's that dot that I'd be very interested in. So make right. sure you transfer that, especially when you're doing your sleeves, because this will all help with the positioning later. What's, what's that one for? What's, what's that mark for? Um, so basically there's a mark on your sleeve right. and a mark on, the in, on your arm hole. And you need to match those up when you're inserting your sleeve. So okay. it's really important that you get those in. Because if you don't have them, then you might overstretch or, or whatever yeah, course, when you're, when course, you're inserting course, yeah. the sleeve. Um, and then this section here, again, is really, really important because we're going to need to make a cut. So this is another section that we need to make sure that we're transferring across. Right. So again, same principle. You can see you've got all of your numbers here. You've got your dotted line just indicating where you're going to be stitching and you've got your little circle there. Right. So make sure you transfer <clears throat> that one as well. Right. Um, oh, so that's a stitch. That's not a cut. Like you don't cut the fabric. No, no, back. you're going to stitch and right. then cut. So I'll do okay. that with you in yeah, just yeah, a second. Yeah, yeah. And then the last thing that I want to cover before we get on stitching is these little circles with your little crosses in the centre. Yeah, what's that? Okay. So these are relating to your bust and your uh, natural waistline. And then you also you've got your lengthened and shortened lines here. Yes. So... This is always worth checking as well when you've got your pattern because it might be that actually you might want to go down a size or up a size. So even though on your uh, your pattern piece, yeah. on the back, you've got your sizing <coughs> guides. Yeah. Um, so if I just do a size 12, it's saying that the bust is 34. I'm going to go with inches because I'm an inches girl. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, so it's 34 inch if you're a size 12 in this pattern. Yeah. Whereas if we come to our paper pattern down here, <coughs> if me. I go to size 12... You can see that it says 40. So even though on the pattern it's saying 34, yeah. it's actually a finished size 40, 40 inch. So there's a six inch, sorry, four inch ease. ease in that. So even though this is a very shapely garment, I can see that actually that it's not as tight as it might look. Yes. So you've got an, enough room to move. So it, it might be that actually I want it to be a little bit tighter. Yeah. So I might be able to go down a size. I might be able to go down to a size 10 actually, 
Or I might want to go up a little bit more yeah, if I want it to be if, a little bit roomier. If you're going to have your bosom, sometimes you don't want it. You don't want it But you want to create that, because yeah. the darts are going to create that lovely Definitely. shape. But you want that extra fullness there. Exactly. So it's always worth just checking your paper pattern just to see what the differences are between the size you're cutting and what the finished finish size sizes. is. And this is where you're going to get that information, not only on your bust, but also in this section here, you can see we've got your waistline difference as well. And again, your length and shorten is right. very important. I was important. going to, I was yeah, going to ask a question about that, because a lot of ladies ladies cut say oh I'm very tall mm -hmm. or I'm very short and the waist is going to be in the wrong place exactly. and I would say don't add if never you're tall add never add onto the bottom of a pattern like this Here. so you sp you'd split the pattern there and then move, move it down in the fabric before you cut Absolutely. it out you? so again because the way the shape that we've got here on the blouse as well as the shaping on the back it's going into your natural waistline and all of our waists are in different positions yes. so in order for that so you're not doing that with your blouse all the yeah. time or pulling it up or pulling it down you need to find out where your natural waist is and move that up or down. And yes, how do we find our natural waistline? Well, go on, you go first. No, you go first. Okay, so what I, I like to uh, do it is um, I like to get a piece of elastic, tie it in a knot and put it on, on me and then don't touch it. Try not to fiddle with it. It's so annoying, yes. but don't fiddle with it. Yeah. What will happen is it will naturally wiggle its way over to the smallest part of your waist. And we only say that because we're so used, like look at my, these trousers, are a 28 inch waist, obviously, right? <laughs> but they're nowhere near my waist, my waist's here, right? Exactly. So modern day clothes, we same. get so used to buying, well, they're obviously not a 28, but we, the size jean that we normally buy, and they're called a 28 waist or a 36 waist or whatever, but they're not, they're not sitting on our no. waist. Very, very seldom do we actually measure, exactly. our, and my natural position. waist is here. My natural waistline is here, yeah, you see. here. So mine's quite Hannah's, high. Hannah hasn't got a natural one because Hannah's apple shaped. So Even it goes she like that. does. She, oh, you're so cool. But anyway, anyway, so so that's why it's important to find where your natural uh, dressmaker. Because otherwise, what's going to happen is if you don't find that, you need to match. This is why when you buy um, clothes from shops. I, I, I give up. Yeah. I, this is why I really make my own clothes now because it just, I, whenever I do it, I'm like, it always seems that it's halfway either underneath my bust or too far yes. down. Yeah. And you're constantly fighting with your garments to either pull them up, pull them down because the dress is yeah. trying to find your natural waist yeah. all the time. So when you're doing your dressmaking, you can cut all of that out because then you're able to adjust where that smaller part is. So you feel a million dollars yes. because your dress isn't moving anymore. No, all. and the best way to measure it, once once you've got your elastic, I, I you do elastic, I do a tape measure. Yeah. And as you move around, it moves with you. Don't just go with it. But then when you, if you just turn around, you just measure for your nape to back waist, wherever the elastic is here on you, you measure from your nape there mm -hmm. to where the elastic or the tape. In fact, you can feel yours because yours is, yeah, you've yeah. got a very distinct, um, what's that called there? Like a well uh, in the back of your, yeah. you've, you've got a, a distinct line that you measure from that and then you know that that's your centre back measurement that you, you can then measure onto your pattern to make sure it's in the right place. If you're on your own and obviously you don't, you haven't got John or myself helping you, uh, the other way that I would suggest doing it is um, by taking the tape measure onto your shoulder seam and bringing it across the bust and then if this is why I like to use the elastic yes. so then you can then measure in the elastic but again just watch what you're doing guys, yes, don't, don't look, look down. down always look into the mirror directly yeah. and take the measure. Oh yes, because yes, when you draw your own, this is what happened here, but when you draw your own patterns mm -hmm. one of the most important messages is your nape to back waist yep. but also your nape over here to your, your point, point to point where your nipples yeah. are <laughs> yeah. and then down to your yeah. waist Absolutely. and that's when you're cutting your own patterns that's one of the most important um, if you if you have jennifer's book which i think we've sold out of here at the moment haven't we? but if you get jennifer's book it's got all about it's, it's got, measurements yeah and things especially like that, when it? you're on your own and you don't have that sewing yes, body, exactly. unfortunately so um, that's and hannah good. says if you if i am in your house tell me to leave <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got a quick mate. Good morning, John. Love today's Dragonfly shirt. I cannot wait to see the Sasko feature. Neither can I. I've never done it before. I've oh, never done I'm it before. Oh, I'm so excited for you right. on that. Right, so that's your pattern covered. Okay, so yeah. I'm going to move that out of the way. Now, I've already gone ahead and sewn in one of the darts. Okay. We're not, we're not going to focus on darts today. No, no, no. Um, and I'm not going to bother to sew in the waistline dart either because I'm really concentrating on the, uh, the button front, uh, the plaquettes part, and then also our sleeves. So I'm going to ditch darts for today and concentrate yes, on of those. Course. Okay, so if you remember, um, I mentioned about that stitch line. Yes. I've already gone ahead and done that now. You can see that little point, that yeah. circle I was talking about. Just so coming in now. I've done it in purple so you can clearly see, but obviously yeah. at home you would use a colour that matches your uh, your garment. So there's my stitch there. Now that's a stay stitch. That's going to stay exactly where it is. We're not going to take that out. And you can see that it's sewn into that point. Yes. Now this is where you need to get your scissors and cut into 
the fabric right up to that stitch line. And right, that, but not obviously. Not through it. don't cut the stitches. That's the most important part. So you're going to do that on there, and then you're also going to repeat that as well on your facing. Right. So this is going to hose, house the buttonholes. Okay. Uh, Caroline thinks that it's a puffin on there, not a parrot yeah. or a pelican. Well, or when a you penguin. said parrot, I was like, actually, I can see a bit of parrot in there. No, I, I think it's. I think I thought it was. You know, there's a book. There were books you can buy that have one on the spine. Puffin. It's, that's is it puffin, puffin, isn't yeah. it? But I don't think it looks like a puffin though. I think no. it's got the wrong beak for the puffin, anyway. Yeah, it's, it's... right in. Let us know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Hannah, it's a good job you love John, otherwise you'd shoot him. <laughs> she doesn't love me. <laughs> she doesn't. It's a love-hate relationship. She, does. she loves she nobody. Does. Okay, so I'm gonna sew, <laughs> sew in the uh, the facing now. Now obviously this would be connected to the back of the neck and then the other side, but I'm yes. breaking it down into one no, piece no, no, for no, it's you. Good, it's okay, good, it's good, so um, this isn't as per the instructions, but I just want to get these parts yes, covered. So I'm putting the facing right sides together. And again, I'm matching up my um, circle. So I've got yep. circles here. I've got my circles there. And um, so that's the first thing we're going to do. So I like to put my pin in first and then join up that way. There. If you've, if you've um, never made anything ever before, in the pattern, you do, as well as the pattern pieces, mm -hmm. you do get very, very comprehensive um, yeah, I've got those while instructions think. as well. So I, I, if you think, oh, they're going a bit fast for me, they're going fast for me. It's all in here. And the other thing is, if you are new to us, we're on YouTube. And if you get, basically, the shows are repeated loops on our website, but you can't stop them or start them or anything. If you go to YouTube, you can stop and start. So if you're watching this and you're mm -hmm. thinking, oh, let me just see what Jennifer just did again there. You could just rewind a little bit, watch what she did again, Pause it while you do yours, and then you can carry on. Carry on, Just like, And then, of course, this, from tomorrow, you'll be able to record it on your Sky Plus machine. Woohoo! That's so exciting as well. I know. So it's literally from tomorrow you can do that? Say it again. Is it literally from tomorrow you tomorrow can do morning, it? Tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock, yeah. <gasps> exciting! I know. Okay. Well, everyone's been asking and asking and asking yeah, since we no, opened, you know. Definitely. And then the plan is, obviously, we'll stay on both Freeview and Sky, and then eventually we'll uh, extend the hours as well. Wicked! Can't wait. That's gonna be so good. Because we hear that we heard it straight a lot when we first started. We went, oh, when are we coming on Sky? Yeah, exactly. Coming on Sky. Exactly. So I'm really glad we've been able to do that now. Right then. So I'm just uh, working my way down that plaquette now. So I'm just going right. down the so, length. So why did you cut? Sorry, I might have missed that bit. Why did you cut into that corner? So what's going to happen is when we um, flip our facing over. Oh, so it's not yet. You haven't done anything to not it yet. yet. It's all in the preparation. And yeah. um, so I'm just sewing down the length of that. Facing now. Da, da, da. Okay, so I've done that. So the reason why we need to cut that section is because when we turn this over, if we don't make that cut, it won't separate out. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just going to take my scissors first. So it's gonna... like doing when you do a curve one, you do notches and cuts. And yeah, things. exactly so the same, the same process. Because it's such a severe call. Oh now. yeah, definitely. You need to go straight up. So I'm just trimming back my seam allowances super quick. Now. Um... You, uh, would you um, do another line of stitching over that bit, or is the stay stitching enough for that bit, in, where you've cut it back like that? Uh, no, the stay stitching is, is enough, enough there, yeah. yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I'm just cut, trimming all that back. I'm going to leave that on just so I can sew my um, shoulder seam together right. for a second. Right then, so now what you would then do is turn your facing in on itself. Okay, there you go. Yeah. This is where you need to Oh, I'm seeing it just because you've cut in. So you've cut in. It you creates it, that really, that really v. neat corner, doesn't it, of the sweetheart neckline. So if we get the iron out. Yes. Give that a nice press then, can't we? Thank you. You're welcome. Super this one. Okay, so uh, yeah, it, for me, it's, that, it's all about that cut. If you don't get that cut in, um, then it's not going to pivot and give you that nice square neckline on that corner. So another tip maybe that you might want to do some understitching, which is uh, different to stay stitching, and that stops the, um, the facing from rolling, rolling back. Rolling back. And when, when would you do? When would you do that? So I would 
I would have done that before pressing. Yes. So it would have okay. been before I turned it out. And where, just where, would, can we get a close up of where we stitched if we did under stitching? So I've cut right back to the seam. Yeah. So when you do your under stitching, I would have given myself a little bit more. So in yeah. fact, I probably would have stitched first and then trimmed back after. Yeah. But you're literally stitching, no, it's one eight. Yes. Like yeah. it's really, really, really tight and it just stops it from rolling forward. Yes. But the reason why I haven't done that is because I'm going to be putting buttonholes in here as well as sewing buttons on. Yes. So that's pretty much doing the job for me. Yeah. Um, um, I know you've got some interfacing on there as well. Yes, on we your, have, um, yes. Face, don't, only on the facing you're interfacing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so on the facing and then also the back of the neck as well and then coming back down the other side. So, yeah, it's just that band that of we're course. working on. Um, and we've got it here in black and in white. Uh, white first. Sorry. Oh, I moved my glasses, sorry. The packets are exactly the same. You can just see that one's got black in it there. So that's the white one with the lady with the face. Yes, I picked it up when I was prepping yesterday. I was like, oh, that's a nice blouse that Jennifer's making. <laughs> Didn't realise that was the interfacing. <laughs> and then we've got it in the black as well. There's somebody has been playing with my um, tablet on the desk, right? It keeps asking me to sign into iTunes. Well, I don't know, but I'm listening to uh, the soundtrack of... Um, Great showman. Have you been to see that? Film? No, not oh, yet. It's brilliant. Not you've got yet. to go and see it. Although I've, I've been uh, reading that you've been what we've been watching uh, Feud recently. Oh, it's an amazing program. And what, the costume's just incredible. Oh, incredible. Sorry, going off kilter again. But what, what's amazing is when you normally see, because it was all about jo jo uh, Joan Crawford and Betty Davis and the mm -hmm. feud between them, and they do uh, them at the Oscars and them at uh, certain television programmes, if you actually look up, They've uh, replicated not only the set, but the costumes shoot. and the jewellery and the hair and the makeup. It's amazing. So if you look at the real Joan Crawford at the Oscars in 1964, and you know what I mean? Oh, it's, it's, it's just brilliant. If you but can grab it on your couch up or whatever it's called, just watch it. It's brilliant. Watch it. Right. Okay, so um, the, you mentioned about the tie in the front. Yes. And can I undo it or not? So basically, this is the, uh, the bow part of your pattern. Oh, okay. And what that would do is slip in to that side seam here and part oh. of your arm um, side. Oh, so it's not put on afterwards. It's put on before, before. you construct the side seam. So yep. it's actually caught in. Caught Let me just show in. you here. Look, so there. So there's, there it is caught into the side seam before you've sewn the side seam there. Mm -hmm. Or can you, you need to go a bit... Um, that's it. That's the one. So it's caught in there. And then if you... Un just un can I untie yeah, that? Yeah, sure. Untie that, you see, there's the shape. You see that Jennifer's got here, that she's made it, it's bagged out shape here. Yep. So that is caught into the side seam mm -hmm. there um, before you, before you make before it you together. Before you move on. Right, I'll tie that back up and you carry on with All it. All right, okay. So I'm just gonna quickly stay stitch that in or base that in, sorry. So I'm gonna go inside the seam allowances. So our seam allowance on our pattern is 1.5. So as long as you're sewing inside that seam allowance, then, yep. uh, then that's good to go. So I thought I'd cover that one off for you very quickly. Yeah. And what's great about it, if I just bring the pattern piece in super quick, uh, where is it? So this is what it looks like. Sorry, darling. Sorry. This is what it looks like before you um, make it into the bow. So it almost looks like a shield, yeah, coat oh, of yes. arm. Um, but if I bring the pattern piece in here, you can see that our grain line is, is on, the, on the bias, wonk, it's yes. on the 45, it's on the bias, and that's allowing your bow to really sit really prettily across the chest. I wonder if that tied, because if it was on the straight, it would be a clunky tie, that, wouldn't yeah. it? Yes. So it's really important that you're putting your grain line in the right position, okay? Yeah. I'm actually just looking because it doesn't matter because on the fabrics, they're all different directions. Yeah, different. But on that one, on the pelican one, you're going to see that it's a slightly different, a slightly different. When you tie it, you're going to see that the, the pelicans, puffins, whatever they are, the parrots are all going in, in a, a different, different direction. direction. Yeah. Um, so make sure that you do put your um, grain line in the correct position. Yes. So if we go back to our pattern, uh, our fabric, our fabric is in working linear. Yeah. It's in th that direction. So if I bring that over, you can see that, it's probably. So you can see that, that it's going That's in a diagonal grain, position. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. it's going in a different direction. So I just wanted to cover that off so you can see that there's a difference in yeah. what we've done with the other previous Perfect. patterns. Right then, so we've got our bow attached now. So I'm going to sew in our shoulder seam. Yeah. So then we can get on with our arm hold. Uh, Margaret, okay. Ma Ma Margaret. Margaret says, Morning, John and Jennifer. Loving the show. Morning. Loads of information. And you make it look so easy, Jennifer. Oh, thank you. Well, it is easy. 
it's oh, a really lovely says, pattern. In your book, yes. Is it Arson? Arson. For some reason, Arson's messages will never come through here. She says. Uh, she loves the measurement section in your book. Oh, brilliant. There you go. I'm glad it's helpful. Yes. Now, before you go any further, yes. uh, if you're new to dressmaking, no, not that. If you're new to dressmaking, we've got this little bundle here. I'll show the still, show the still, show the still there. A uh, little bundle there where you get thread snips, a uh, tape measure, uh, a quick unpick, some pins and some tailor's chalk. So it's a lovely little gift for somebody who's just starting off in the dressmaking world. £13.49. There you go. That's what you think. You're thinking, what's that mess on the table? That's all that. <laughs> what's all that about? How long's the tape measure? No, 60 inches. 60 inches. Okay, so I'm going to go and okay. stitch in my seam, um, seam allowance on my shoulder seam now. Yeah. So this is going to look a little bit strange, guys, because remember that I've gone ahead and done the facing. Yes, of course. Because yeah. I'm um, yes, skipping so don't, little don't bits. Yes, don't do the order that Jennifer's doing. No, Follow don't do the, the order, order on, the pattern. on the pattern. But she's just saying different techniques, yeah. Okay, so we've got our... Shoulder seam in now, so again, you won't have that at yes, home because yeah. I've, I've uh, missed a step. But what yeah. I'm really interested in here, if I just move that seam. over, is the, the sleeve area, okay? Right. So that's what we're going to be working into now. So we can see that we've got a little cut here. Yeah. We've got a dot there. Yeah. We've got our shoulder seam. Mm -hmm. We've got another dot and another cut. Now this is where it's really important that you get your cuts in all your marks. However you're going to transfer your notches, it's important. So you can see I've got two here. Coming in. Yeah. There's two there. And then if I just get you to trace around over here, and there's one here. So this, the reason why there's one and two is that it's telling you that this is the front, single is front on yeah. this pattern, and the two over here is the, indicating the back. It's on most patterns, it's yeah. the same way. When, you, when you're being taught to, 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 to pattern cut, they always say, because you need one in the armhole and you need one in the sleeve. Exactly, yeah. So there's one at the front on both and two, two at, the, at back the back on both. So just so you know which is which. So those are really, really important and it's very important when we get to the sleeve part. So I've done that bit now so I can move that over. Okay. So before we get on to that, I'm just gonna quickly sew in my side seam. So now we've got the, uh, the arm size ready for so, our... No, no, so the sleeve is set in it's because set some in. patterns, you, you sew the sleeve in while it's still open, That's don't you? Correct, but this yeah. one you set this in. This one it's set in, yeah. Um, do you know it was? I couldn't remember it was sewing nut who sent in the picture. It was sewing nut who sent in the picture and she's re-sent it in. I'll see if we can just get it up for you in a minute, Sam. Can't nut. wait to I'll see it. it. Thank you. Okay. Oh, there you go. And she says the sleeve is very good for her, her ample arms. Uh, I met her at the, uh, at the Great British Sewing Bee thing at the oh, NEC. Oh, no, there, yeah. And now she's not a woman of a certain age. I can't remember what I was supposed to say. She's not quite grown up yet or something like that. But okay. she's a woman of a certain age. But so much younger than me. Right. <laughs> so there we have our armhole already okay. and prepped for our sleeve. Right. Okay. Can I, before you put the sleeve in, yes. just go and do fabrics. But I don't want you to do anything without me. I've got to, sew this, I've got to do the whole sleeve anyway, so definitely. Go right. away, okay. come back. Okay, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be two seconds. No, I'll be two fine. seconds. Oh, here, very quickly. Uh, that's the sleeve you're looking at. Here's a picture of saying, not wearing her blouse. Yay! It looks so good. So now she says she loves the tulip sleeve because it um, covers her ample arm. This is her words, not mine, not mine. And then she said she loves the tie bit at the front because not only is it flattering, it's also supportive as well. I like that. We like that. Thank you so much for that one. I say, look at her looking all happy on her selfie there. Um, right, 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 right. So, she's very clever, she's a very, very intelligent lady who should have done sewing earlier on, but in, like, like we did, not in my day, because she's not as old as me, obviously, but we went for careers over what we th thought we should have done, really. Anyway, come on, I'm telling you a life story now. Fabric, F fabric on the mannequin, this fabric first. Now, obviously, you need two meters to make the blouse. Um, this obviously isn't the blouse, and this obviously you're not getting the jacket. It's just that we haven't got a sample of the fabric. This was the cloth kits two two way jacket, but with the patterns not we haven't got the pattern it was in the sale. So three pound fifty five half meter, it's gorgeous. Let me show you the back actually, then you can just get see the fabric as a whole. So that's kind of what your blouse would look like there. Beautiful, one of our most popular ever fabrics that. Oh, now apparently it's flying out today as well. It's absolutely oh. <laughs> it's absolutely flying out. It's absolutely flying out. Right, so let's just do that. <laughs> One of the legs is broken. 
You left the car. Oh, you know what? Somebody asked yesterday where FW was. No, WH was. WH. She's in back in today. Right, fabrics, fabrics, fabrics. Quickly, quickly, quickly. I'll just get rid of this. <laughs> right. <laughs> there you are. They wanted. They want um, best bits for the birthday, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. Which one are we doing? Navy birds on white first. That's what the nothing's made out of. Oh, that's what we're using over there. Navy birds on white, three ninety nine for half a meter. Oh. Okay. Then I've got white birds on navy. Now, oh look, there you go. There you go. That's obviously a metre that I'm showing you there. 3 99 for half a metre. We do sell in half metre increments. OK, great price, fantastic price. So that's the bird ones. Then I've got uh, white flowers on blue. Is, is that where you want to go? White flowers on blue. They're all 3 99 for half a metre. Oh, dear. I think that uh, mannequin's gone into retirement now. That, that third leg fell off. Yes, that's why it fell over, because the leg fell off. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, uh, WH has stuck it back on with some gaffer tape, apparently. Right, then, we, then we've got... It's so funny, because the other day, little Paul was going, we've had all these messages about WH. Who, uh, uh, yeah, w, who's WH? Who's WH? WH is a, a trainee floor person who's back for another day today. Right, here we go. 399, blue ditzy florals on white background. William Henry, that's why we call him WH. OK. OK, we'll move on to the next one. So the next one is cr uh, cream or white with red ditzes. Most, oh, this one's the most popular. This one's the most popular. Oh, it's because your, your blouse is already made out of it. Right, bring it in, W. Oh, no, it's made out of the pink one yet. Yeah, now, if you ask, oh, wobble, wobble. When you walk past the camera, WH, it does wobble the camera a little bit. Uh, so that's the red one, not the pink one that the blouse is made out of. And then I've got red with the ivory flowers or white flowers. That's the one that Hannah would choose. She says she hopes that. Oh, she says, thank you ever so much for all the new followers she's got on Instagram. It's because I mentioned about her new hair. Macbabe it is on Instagram, yeah. Right, OK. And then last but not least, this is my favourite, the pink one. I love this pink one. It's the one Jennifer's made her blouse out of over there. So that's the pink flower. On, now, we haven't got the opposite ones that. All the others have got the opposite. That one's just one on its own. I don't know if we had the pink one that sold out or whether it was just... You'll need two metres to make the blouse. Most. The, the, the most you'll need is two metres. 3 99 for half a metre there. OK. Right. Back to Jennifer. Sorry, Jennifer. Right. right. So sleeve. Sleeves. Time's flying by. Look. Flying by. Yeah. OK. So... It's a two-piece sleeve. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. It doesn't come in one big piece, so this right. is unusual from what we've normally seen. So when you look at a sleeve, normally you have that kind of, yes, of arc shape, don't yes, you? Yeah. Okay. I know we're coming to that. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. There you go. We have that kind of arc shape, so that's something that you've probably been familiar with. Whereas this one, it's separated. Okay. Um, and again, very similar to what we said, we've got a lot of dots and circles and things that we need to be concentrating on. So these are very important. So this one is to allow for the wrap over at the very top. Yeah. And this one is indicating where we're going to put it into the sleeve of the, of the body yes. of, the sh of the blouse. Again, there's another point there. And obviously that's telling you these two pieces need yes. to go together. So I've gone ahead and stitched those so, together. So, so this is your underarm This is the seam. underarm that's section. That's the seam going across the that's underarm. That's right, yeah. Underarm section there. Yeah. You've got our two points of reference. That's the back. Yes. This is the front. And you've got our little dots there, which okay. we've already marked out. Yeah. So um, a quick tip for getting your uh, hem, a very nice uh, thin hem on your, or double hem on your sleeve. Yeah. Um, so what I've done, as you can see here, I've gone ahead and stitched in with a, um, a, a long stitch on the machine. I've done my little trick again with the bobbin. So I've my bobbin is the wrong colour, it's purple, because this is the one I'm going to be pulling. Yeah. So when you pull it, it creates a little gather. So it's a little gathering stitch. But because it's a kind of like a curved edge, you can see that it's just helping bring the fabric in, bring over. So I've stitched that at a quarter of an inch. So then that allows me to then really push that seam right up to that stitch line and go in with my hot iron. So you can see there. 
So then what you then do is then turn that over again and then stitch that down. So that's just a nice way of getting that nice yeah. clean finish on the, uh, on the hem of the yeah. sleeve. Okay, so that's that bit. So the next bit is then making the sleeve so we can get it into the blouse. Yes. Okay, so um, in the instructions, I believe it's the back over the front with the yes. right size facing yeah. the front. I can see it from the, the with the back to the front. So this is where you really need to know where your back bits is. are. Yeah. So, so it's the back over the front, like so. so. This is where your dots really come into play. So let me bring this over. So I've got a dot and a dot, so I'm bringing those together. So that's creating the, the sleeve yes. shape. We can see now that you've done that, because when it's flat, it's a bit complicated, but now you've done that, that you can see that that's the sleeve head that goes that's in. That's right, yeah. So there you can see we've only got three dots now. We had four before, yeah. but now we've only got three. So there's one, two, and three. So this dot now is telling you that needs to go into the shoulder seam yeah. of, your, of your blouse. Okay, but before we do that, I'm, again, I'm going to go in with a quick stay stitch just to keep that in position so it's easy for when we get to the sleeve. Jennifer is so informative. John, you've made me laugh out loud. Such a lovely start to the day. That's from Janet in the East Riding. Now, Margaret, Margaret, your message is gone, but I'll, I'll paraphrase it. Margaret says she loves, loves, loves you and your dressmaking shows. Um, she says, can we have more um, for beginners, more yes. saying tips for beginners, and more for ladies of a certain age? She's loving this blouse. Gorgeous, isn't it? Really lovely. And again, very flattering, very flattering neckline. And not too revealing, I don't yes. think, either. Yeah, no. Also, also, oh, I'll wait for a second. We are also, I know, now I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you this. That, I'm, I, no, no, I'll tell, I, I know a lady who does patterns, does her own patterns, and they're very, very popular with late, well, they're very popular with everybody, but they're very, very popular because she knows which bits to, so we're hopefully going to get her patterns in. And that's, all, that's all I'm going to say, that's all I'm going to say. These bits and bobs. Bits and bobs, bits and bobs. So now we're going to get the sleeve into our garment. Okay. okay, so this is where we need to put the bits together. So remember we talked about the three dots on your sleeve, yep. one, two, and three. We're going to match these dots up with the dots on the inside of our um, blouse. So the first one I'm going to do is to do um, my shoulder seam, yep. okay? So I'm going to flip that over. So there's the dot there, dot and the dot. So I always do the dots first and then worry about the other bits later. Yeah. Okay, so there's my other dot. So there's dot one on my sleeve and there's the dot on the blouse. So again, yeah. match those up. Okay, and then finally, the other one, dot to dot. Yeah. Bring those together. So don't worry about if it's not quite matching up yet. Just get the dots in first, and we'll worry about the other bits later. Yes. And then the last one is the, the underarm seam, and then obviously your side seam on your blouse. Bring those, those two together, together as well. Dot to dot. And then you've got your cuts. So we've got single cuts, so we know we're in the right position because we've got one cut on all of those pieces. So that's the sleeve, yeah. my blouse, and also my bow. There's three in there. Make sure they're all meeting up together. Pop a little pin in. And then last but not least, you can again just double check, double, double, that's yeah. good, match those up, perfect. Okay, so what you would then do now is you would sew, if I just bring that around so you can see, you need to sew all the way around that arm scythe now. Right. To secure that sleeve in place but you've got these little bits of gathering here, you can see that that one's a little bit smaller than that one. Yeah. Now, I haven't stay. I haven't done a gathering stitch because, frankly, you can you can ease that in on your own. Yes. But don't be tempted to move these pins out until you've sewn. No, exactly. Okay. I'm not a fan of sewing over needles, but get as close to that needle as possible pin, pin. at the pin. Sorry, yeah. um, and then and then move on. So don't be tempted to keep pushing that ruffle no, over. No, because otherwise all your fullness will go round to the other bit. Also, what I do, and I'm not, I'm not, is I would find the halfway point of the bigger bit here mm -hmm. and the halfway point of that and pin yeah. that. Then pin the two in the middle there, so Absolutely. you know it's easy. So you just keep going and evenly. going and going. So and if you don't, if you don't want to sew over pins. 
once it's pinned in, you can, like Janice did just say, you could hand tack it in hand if you wanted to, to make sure it's in exactly the right place and that your gathers are even before you then, then you haven't got any pins anywhere near your sewing machine. And you also know that the sleeve is totally, totally in place. So with this sleeve, there shouldn't be any, any gathers at all right. in them. There is, there's no ease in that at all, really. Um, another tip for me as well is, you can see that this is the blouse section because there's the, um, the, the shoulder seam. When I'm pinning in, I always have my hand as if it's the shoulder, and then I find that the, the ease, the section that's bigger is on the top. It just makes it and falls a lot easier. So when you are distributing those gathers, you're putting it in a position that it would naturally be sitting on the body as well. So of I course. always put my hand underneath, and I just find that a lot easier. So stitch all the way around that, and then you're done. Who's, who sent the email in, sorry? Oh, well, I know the answer. Yes, they are machine washable. You can machine wash these cottons at 30 yeah. degrees. At 30 degrees. I do mine at 40, but they now in all dressmaking things, mm -hmm. this is I this is my personal tip. I would always wash it before Definitely. I made the blouse. Because I know quilting ladies don't often wash theirs, no. but this is a garment that you're gonna wear. And if there isn't most fabrics have a five percent shrinkage. And if, if you want to get rid of any shrinkage, wash your fabric. And also, if there's any dressing in there you don't want to, I think, what I would say, would you, would you agree? 110%, totally agree yeah. with you. Yeah, dressmakers, we always do it. Uh, Karen, hi, John and Jennifer. Big thank you, Jennifer, for explaining the finished garment sizes. It's been a big help. You're very And very welcome. quickly, this fabric, if you, well, if you want this fabric, it's absolutely flying out. It always says, the reason I've got it in a jacket is we can't find the sample of it, but this fabric, really, really, really popular. If you want that, you do need to check out your baskets. Sorry, Jennifer, I don't no, want to take no, any no, of your time. No, no, that's good, on. it's all good. Right, so uh, we've only got a couple of minutes uh, left. We'll have to do buttonholes another day. That's, that's, I don't think we're going uh, to... Do you want you're... to do... I could do buttonholes or do you want me to sew the sleeve I think you should. I think you should find, finish the sleeve. Okay. And then what we'll do is what well, next time you're in, yeah. we'll have to do, we'll buttonholes, do buttonholes. Because I don't, I don't want to rush... Because you, you like, you've only got like three minutes or two okay. minutes. And I don't want to have to rush it because the mm -hmm. viewers at home will be dissatisfied. You won't be happy. No. So I'd rather you came back another day and we do a proper buttonhole. Proper buttonhole. Is that day. all right with you? Yeah, no, yeah. totally all right. Um, okay, so get the, the gubbins box, as I like to call it. Get that off your machine, so it's giving you that free arm there, so you yep, can get yep. your sleeve into it. And also, another tip for me is always have the sleeve on top of it. So you can see there's my sleeve there, yep. with my crossover. So all of the gathering and stuff is facing you, so then you can really manipulate it as you go around. So we know that this is, this is the one that's going to be nice and tight. It's the tighter one of the two, yeah. so you don't need to worry about that one. It's that one that no, we need to worry about. you want that one about. to stay just flat, yeah, exactly. don't, the whole time you're going So down. I'm going to start from the underneath. Yeah. Slide that on. Oh, and again, it's the 1.5 seam allowance, so nothing's changed as far as that's concerned. All right, so I'm just going to drop my needle down. Okay. I'm going to take this nice and slow. It is slow and steady wins the race every time, guys. So just nice and slow. Yes. Also, if your if your um, machine doesn't have, you can't take the gubbins box off your machine. Mm -hmm. You still sew from the inside. Uh, you still slow it so from where the sleeve is, but you just have it folded the other way around. Yeah, so it would so be coming in from the yes, side. Exactly. Uh, sometimes, depending on the sleeve, I prefer doing it that way anyway yes. and not having it on the machine. Um, it feels like it's a bit claustrophobic because it's all kind of, yes. it's almost like creating a hood. Um, yeah. But I prefer, I actually no. prefer sewing in sleeves exactly. like that sometimes. I'm just working my way around. So you'll notice that I'm doing a lot with my fingers. Um, I find that. I like to call it pressing the air out works. And you can yes. also double check as well, have I got any kinks or, or anything like that? So I can feel that there's a pin there, so I just want to move that out of the way. And again, always finish with the needle in the down position. Again, that just helps keep everything in place while you're... Um, moving your sleeve around but it's also good to get into the habit of that because that this blouse is very very lightweight isn't it yeah but um if you're doing a heavier garment or something like that then it's good to practice with your needle down because you don't want the garment to move while you're yeah. what i'm going to do is mm -hmm. i'm going to leave you sewing that but i'll come back to you okay yeah i'm just going to go and round up fabrics then we can see the finished yeah sure we can see the uh, sleeve head in because i've run out of time a little bit so there's the finished item Okay, patterns are in. Uh, that comes in two sizes: the six to the four to twelve, and the twelve to twenty. They're both in there. Seven ninety nine. Make sure you get the right one. Look, this is the twelve to twenty. That one there is the four to twelve. Check out your baskets on those. They're flying out. Um, right, red poppy fabric, which I haven't got here, but uh, I've got it in a jacket. 
Really, really, really popular. Please check out your baskets on that one. 355 for half a meter. Saying two meters for the blouse. But obviously, if you're not going to make the blouse, we've also got, in the, in the other room, we've also got a gorgeous dress made out of this. And I think Jennifer made um, elasticated like lounge pants out of this fabric months and months and months ago, didn't you? I mean, I've seen it somewhere before. Yeah, like pyjama trousers. Anyway, okay, quickly. Then, the pink one, the pink one that Jennifer's made the blouse out of is this one. So we've only got the pink in one colourway. It's the pink flowers on the white background, which is more of a creamy background there. There it is, that's the finished thing. I promise we'll do buttonholes next time Jennifer's in. Promise, promise, promise. Pink ditzy florals on the white background. It's not white. It is, a, it is a definitely an ivory cream colour. 3 99 for half a metre. Blue sprigs on the white background, also very, very popular. They're all the same price. They're all 100% cotton, all machine washable. Blue ditzy florals on white background, 3 99 and then the red ones, uh, I've got uh, red sprigs on ivory background. Graphics coming in, don't worry. There you go, 3 99 for half a metre. Remember, if you are new to us, uh, 3 99 uh, the increments, it's sold in increments of half a metre. If you're on the website and you want a metre, you have to put two units. Very quickly, there's the red one with the white sprigs. Oh, I've got to be very quick. So I've got to, I, I'll just tell you now while I'm doing the oh, 3 99 It's me on my own in the next hour with winter sale. Winter sale. I didn't think we were ever going to see it on the telly again, so maybe the last chance you get to see it. Then, oh, no, well, it, 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 sleeve or thread bundle. Sleeve, I'll do the thread bundle in the next hour. I'll do the thread bundle in the next hour. Right, OK, so I've gone ahead and stitched all the way around my sleeve head now. Um, another tip for you is go in again with another line of stitching about a quarter of an inch away from the seam allowance guide and then trim back to that second line of stitching that will just give you a nice finish on your arm um, ahead there um, and that's it so i'm just moving that back over now and you can see that there are no luckily whew, yes, no, gathers, uh, or no tucks. gathers or tucks so there, there shouldn't be any pleating in your sleeve head at all um, so another tip what i would suggest doing is when you're sewing it in for the first time do it with a longer stitch. So then when you've sewn it in, you can check have I got any pleats or not. And if you have got a pleat, you can just unpick that, that section, readjust, and then go in with a smaller stitch after. Same with that. Right, we've got to go, got to go. go. Thank you. You're, You're back welcome. in an hour with uh, sewing and with Sashko. Uh, check out, check out the, the poppy fabric. I'll be back here in three minutes with winter sale. Go nowhere. Follow us on Pinterest, search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing, work, we create and love. Don't miss Jo Carter at 8am on Wednesday as she sews this club night quilt by Devon Levine. Taken from Devon's book Quilt Traditions, this traditional quilt is made with half square triangles and scrappy stars with 50 blocks in total. And Jo will help you master quilting with curves for a stunning finish. Jo uses vintage style fabrics from the Quilters Guild Devon County Fabrics collection as well as the gorgeous florals of the Drawing Room Blooms range from Lewis and Irene. So join us on Wednesday the 17th of January at 8am for this inspirational new show only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. As soon as you place an order with us, we get to work on making your shopping experience that extra bit special. Our warehouse team pick your items and cut your fabric with the greatest care and precision. Cut fabric is neatly folded and packed in a tissue paper lined presentation box. And when we're satisfied that it's just perfect, it gets the sewing quarter seal of approval. So whether you're giving a gift or treating yourself, you can shop with confidence, knowing your sewing quarter purchases will arrive in style. For this tutorial, we're going to be doing something called a tacking stitch. Now, it's very, very similar. In fact, it's the same as a running stitch, but this time it's going to be a lot bigger um, so you can remove the stitches later because it's a temporary stitch. At the back, we're going to go through the front. So if I go through the fabric first, so this time you can see that I'm making these stitches a lot bigger because this is just a temporary stitch that I want to be able to remove a lot easier. If I just do another couple of stitches for you. 
So what you'll be able to do when you get uh, at home and you want to remove the stitch, you should just be able to pull those out nice and easily. We have some exciting news to share with you this Sunday. So join me, John Scott, for a special Facebook Live broadcast. At 12.30 p.m. on Sunday, I will share our secret announcement. So don't miss it. Head to our Sewing Quarter Facebook page to be the first to find out. Be sure to like our Facebook page and watch my special live show on Sunday, the 14th of January at 12.30 p.m. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us, even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433, email us at help at sewingquarter.com, visit our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter, and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. Uh, join me for Facebook Live at 12.30 if you haven't already heard. from tomorrow morning at eight o'clock. Um, I don't know, first of all, have I lost, I think I've lost a bit of weight since that's been. This was a year ago. This was a year ago um, when we were practicing. This was before we actually went live. Oh no, that, is that the first day? That was the very first day because Natasha had that lovely coat on, didn't she? Because that was the first day. The reason I looked tired is because I was here We'd been practicing, practicing, practicing. Then we did, I did the first hour with Natasha, and then I went off to London, didn't I? I did the press launch in London, and then came all the way back. Anyway, so um, that's from our first, first show uh, of the whole um, series, which is nearly a year ago. So from tomorrow morning, no, uh, yeah, from tomorrow morning, from tomorrow morning at eight o'clock, we're still on Freeview, we're still on YouTube, we're still on our internet, internet, but we're also gonna be on Sky six, seven, eight, from eight o'clock tomorrow morning. Um, that's what the YouTube, um, what's that? No, no, what's that? The Face Live time thingy I'm doing later on. But Facebook Live, that's what it's called. But uh, because, because a lot of people, a lot of people, I used to be on a show called Granada Breeze Live Time, you know, all those years ago with um, Carl from Wakefield. Anyway, um, we're doing, I'm still doing it on Facebook Live because an awful lot of people who don't watch uh, us on Freeview but do follow us on the Facebook, you see. So the, the Facebook Live, but let me be, it's, I'm not going to be for half an hour, I'm just going to be here for a quickie, make the announcement, then I'm off. Right, there was something else that said, oh, competition. We've got to, it's our birthday. It's our birthday on the 31st of uh, January. We're a year old and we're doing, to, to part of the celebrations is we're doing a competition and it's called Birthday Block Bonanza. Which I'm getting ready for the winter sale now. Uh, birthday Block Bonanza. And uh, you know what I should be doing? I should wear, where's that apron that Jennifer's made? I should be wearing my apron for the sale. Get me that apron for the sale, please. Um, anyway, so what we're asking you to do is design and make a block. It's 12 and a half inches, so we can sew it together. So in, in effect, it's a 12 inch finished block. We don't want you to finish it. We don't want you to quilt it because it's going to be sewn together with lots of other blocks to make a big, beautiful quilt. So it needs to be in by the 20th. So you've only got, what is it today, the 14th today? Yeah, so you've only got six days. So you need to get it in by the 20th. The address is on the terms and conditions on the website. Go to the front page, go right down to the bottom of the page. And um, uh, you can see there where to send it to and everything. You don't get them back. They need to be 12 inches finished, but don't finish them to the 12 and a half inches. There will be prizes. I think there's three or four prizes for the best ones. There's a panel of judges. I'm not in that panel. Um, to choose the best ones or the, their favorite ones, everything. And you won't be getting them back. That was it, wasn't it? There's nothing else to tell you. So that's the competition. And from tomorrow, one sky. Uh, right, now, here we go then. Let me just do this. Um, th later on, this apron's coming up. Jennifer's not making it, but it's, it's in the book that we're selling, right? So I could, uh, oh. Oh. I, oh I, I, don't, I see, when I used to watch Desperate Housewives and, and Brie Vanderkamp used to do this with her apron, then she turned around and she tied it in the most beautiful bow. And I was like, how on earth has she done that? Like, oh. We'll work on that later. Right. Uh, can I have the winter sale? Have we got the winter sale? Uh, oh, it's across the bottom. Yes. 
I didn't think we'd ever bring in winter sale fabrics back, but you know what? It's your lucky day. It's your lucky day. We have got all of these fabrics. They are up to 40% off these fabrics. Up to 40% off. Look at all of them. Look at all of them. So what I'll do is we'll go through them quickly and then of course I'll come back. But this is the hour that you need to check. If you know you want it, you need to check out straight away because there will be a lot where I go, oh, that one sold out, or that one sold out, or that one sold out. Where I can, I'll tell you how much we've got of each one, but please, please, please be careful. Please be careful. Right, this is gorgeous. This is from the um, art gallery range, isn't it, this one? Now, this one is a polyester cotton mix, this one. Oh, hang on, afternoon sale. Oh, is it? I don't remember it being called that. So it's not about the sale, not about the winter. It's called afternoon. I was going to say it's not an afternoon yet. It's five past nine, isn't it? Right, now look at this, look at this, right? What's £12.49? £7.49, 40% off, 40% off, and it's gorgeous, and it's wide. Now, they call it, where's the graphics gone? There they are. Um, they call it denim. It's not denim. It's not denim. It's a denim look. It's a denim print on really, really gorgeous, soft fabric. I can show you the back. Come on, in your own time, we're supposed to be going fast. Seven pounds and 49 pence. 150 centimeters wide. Okay, next. Right, uh, this is lovely. We did this in lots of different colors. I think I've only got it in the, in the red today. This is, everything about this fabric is organic. Oh, Hannah got some of this range. Uh, now, who did the ironing? Uh, this is hand-picked. Uh, it's all organic from the Wyndham Fabrics. Uh, 40% off, 40% off, 100% GOTS certified organic cotton. And the dyes are organic as well. Four pounds and 79 pence half a meter. Let's have a look at it. There you go. There you go. Hang on, let's just bring it back a bit for you. There you go. There you go. That's it, that's it, that's it. Okay, moving on. Uh, they, oh, now Paul, your little Paul's mum, she loves this one. Right. There's only 10 metres this left in the whole company. Uh, now, 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 now. Uh, when I say only 10 metres, you're going to go, oh, 10 metres, that's lots. It could be gone in an instant like that. It could be gone in an instant. It's from the Blue Rhapsody range. Remember that lovely um, quilt that uh, Joy made? And then she made one for Norman out of the same fabric. Norman's my cat. £8.49 was. It, it is now £5.09 pence for half a metre, 40% off. Oh yeah, we're still advising to ring if you want more than a metre and a half. If you want more than a metre and a half, we are advising to ring. Okay, uh, now this is cute. This is the owl fabric. It's a hoot, I think this is called. Oh, hang on, I'm a bit faster than the graphics there. It's a hoot. This is the one with them all on, look. The whole gang of owls. In fact, I didn't see an owl on my way in this morning. My Disney journey in this morning, I didn't see an owl. Uh, was 7.99. And it's now four pounds and seventy nine pence. Hmm. Pardon? Windham. It's another Windham fabric. Yeah. It's a hoot. It's called by the Whistler Studios. Hundred percent cotton. Um. So how, what percentage? Is that? Hang on. Let me work it out. Seven ninety nine. Forty percent off. Forty percent off that. That'd be lovely in a children's bedroom, wouldn't it? Oh, do you know what? A little girl's um little dungaree dress would be nice, wouldn't it? That one. Oh no. Uh, there is, uh, I'm not just throwing it on the floor, there's somebody catching the fabric there, don't we? Oh no, don't show him, don't show him, don't show him. He's just training, he's just training, don't show him. Right. Um, I said we had this in different colours, crosshatch in the green, uh, 7 99 like the order you've put these in, WH. Huh? £4.79. pence. There's only seven metres of this in the whole company. And also, won't be getting it again, won't be getting it again. No way, there you go. 40% off. Now, from the distance, it looks, just looks green, doesn't it? But look, you see, that? look, beautiful, isn't it? I'd, ma I'd make that into a shirt myself, that's a shirt. All I love is a blender. Now, oh, look. Blue Rhapsody. Why, well, I've made another mistake. Uh, Blue Rhapsody, 40% off. Now, there won't be much of this. 
five meters in the whole company and we won't be getting it again. I love that. That's very essence, Ensis, essence of Laura Ashley. It's not because we don't want to buy it, it's we just can't get it. Uh, we move on, we move on, and oh, that's his nice cats. This reminds me of the first night of cats, 1981, Drury Lane. No, 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 nobody was born here then when I was at the first night of cats. No, you were born, weren't you? No, they're looking at me. Um, was nobody here born in 1981? 91, 101, 111. Oh, no, neither was I. Neither was I. Of course I wasn't. Well, hang on. I must have dreamt that. <laughs> what was, when was I born then? Uh, hang on, hang on. When was I born? What year are we now? Uh, 2018, 2008, 19, 1998, 1988. No, 88, 88. I was, I was three. I was three when I went to see. I was three when I went to see Cats at the Drury Lane. Anyway, moving on. Very advanced. Man. Yeah, wait, the first night party had champagne and everything. <laughs> uh, now, this one might be a bit difficult to see on your telly. It's a gorgeous fabric. You need to come in right, nice and close. Oh, right, there's only two metres left. This is one of Joy's favourite fabrics. It's the Trinkets Dotty Trail on blue background. Uh, look at the price, look at the price, look at the price from Macau. Was £5.49. It's now £3.29. But there's only two metres left. 40% off. There won't be two meters left. That will have gone in a minute. That will have gone in a minute. Oh, what this is. I love this one. This one comes in different colors. Well, this will be interesting anyway. It's called Twilight. That's the color. It's upside down again. Look. Daisy Twilight. Oh, dear. It's getting bitter upstairs. That's how much? There's only two and a half metres left in the whole company of that one. Two and a half metres left at £3.59 for half a metre. Was £5.99. 40% off. OK, put that one. Too many people in baskets, so put that one to one side, because that one might be coming back. Uh, now, you'll love this, you sewists, you quilters out there. Cotton reels. How much? How much? Two and a half metres this. That's all I've got left of this one. This is Lewis and Irene, isn't it? I think to remember, isn't it? Yep, Lewis and Irene. Thread mill with love. Threads on gold. Uh, look, was 5 99 half a metre. Now, £4.99. 30% off on that one. It's nice, isn't it? It's not too vibrant, is it? It's a lovely one. You, you could have that and it'll be soft and gentle in your workroom. Thank you. Oh, now, they're going all over the place. I do apologise. Look, now this one's, this one's uh, uh, mountain top on canopy, so golden. Canopy golden hour from the blue sky range, £3.59, was £5.99. Oh. There you go, coming in nice and close. You can see that lovely sprig design there. It's very, very, very subtle, that one. In real life, it looks gorgeous. On your telly, it's just a bit... Um... Uh, you can quilt with this one, because this one, Joy quilted with that one. Joy did that lovely quilt. In fact, it's in the quilt. 40% off. Um, mountains with attitude. They're not cool. The first, time, the first time we brought this fabric, all the graphics said attitude. It's actually altitude. But somebody would written attitude on the graphics. Uh, little Paul wants a like, camouflage outfit made out of this, he said. Dashwood Studios, Attitude, oh, no, Altitude Mountains. It was £6.50 for half a metre. And in the Winter Sale Fabrics Hour, it's £4.55 for half a metre. It's nice, isn't it? You see, that looked lovely chopped up as a, as a kind of, 30% off that one, chopped up in a quill, wouldn't it? That would look lovely. Hannah wants to know why the, why the snow is ochre. Anyway, thank you. There's only three metres that one left. Right, now we're back to this one. This is Midnight Bloom. Again, from the blue scrubbing, so there won't be much of this either. 
Four and a half meters. Four and a half meters, that's all I've got of this one. It was five pounds and 99 pence. And is now three pounds and 59 pence half meter. If you were a fan of Anne of Green Gables, Hannah thinks this will, she, she says Anne of Green Gables, I think Little House on the Prairie, personally. 40% off, 40% off. Oh, I love this next one. Dandelions. <laughs> what time is it, Mr. Wolf? Okay, this is the one Hannah bought, but in yellow. We haven't got any yellow. We haven't got it in yellow. Uh, now, this is called red. It's more of a flame orange, this one. 40% off. Organic, hand-picked from Wyndham Fabrics. Uh, Hannah's going to make cushions for her living room out of hers. Just, just, just the fabric, no patchwork, no nothing like that, just plain. She got some piping cord. £4.79. Look, it was £7.99, and it's now £4.79 for an organic fabric, and all the dyes used are organic too. £4.79 for half a metre. Nice. OK. Uh, now, back to... No. <laughs> back to life, back to reality. Bubbles. Champagne for everyone. That was bubbles, wasn't it? Oh, not yet. It's a bit early for champagne, thank you, Hannah. Bubbles. Serious fabric for the blue side. Uh, now, I've only got five metres of this. It was 5 99 for half metre. If you look, every so often, one of the bubbles is a different colour. Can you see that? 40% off. Nice, that's lovely. That'd be good as a blender, that one, I think. Good as a blender. Or oh, how much? Four metres, did you say? That's because all the backing. It looked nice on the back. Right, here we go. Stripes. Now, have I got the other colourway? I don't think I have. No. No other colourway in the stripes. I've only got six metres of this in total. Now look, it was five pounds and 49 pence. Macau, coral, now three pounds and 29 pence for half a meter. Fantastic, isn't it, in the winter sale? Even though it's spring now. Pardon. Oh, I think they might chafe a bit. Rob's saying he'd like boxer shorts out of this. They'd be quite heavy boxer shorts. I think you get a lot of, I think, no, I think even with the old school ones, you get a lot of clumping. Isn't that what they call it? You know when, well, you know, you know when you wear box shots and all the fabric goes there and all clumps in the middle? Also, if you get the, the old-fashioned ones, they didn't have buttons on the old-fashioned ones. And I did work with a very, very famous actor. Oh, I don't know if I can tell the story. No, I better not. No, I better not tell that story. But, uh, no, I'm, I can't tell it. I can't tell it. I can't tell it. I'm ever so sorry. I can't tell it. <laughs> Love this. This is plaid. This is gorgeous. It's like um, brush cotton. It's brush cotton. Again, from the wind and fabrics. It's mad for plaid range. I don't remember saying that, mad for plaid. I love it, though. I love it. Four, look at the price. What's well, 6 pounds Now £4.89 pence for half a metre. That's lovely. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, yes. And could wash that up and make a lovely pair of pyjama trousers out of that. Be nice. Nice and cosy. When you sit at home watching this, 30% off. Now, this is like, we like this Macau. Open it up properly. Okay, you can stop singing that one now. She's singing back to life you know, in my earpiece. Mind you, oh, I frightened the life out of Norman yesterday because the soundtrack for the um, Greatest Showman, never told you I've watched it, it's brilliant. Um, arrived yesterday, I put it on in the you know, what's that thing called, the DVD player? No, CD player. And it was so loud. And Norman was like, oh, you're home for it, you're home for it. And then the music started. And he ran, like, no, was hiding in the lounge. Anyway, he's fine, he's fine, he's purring. Foliage fabric on blue background was 5 99 Now £3.59 for half metre. Right, loads of you. OK, right, now, I've got to be, you've got to be careful here. There's less than 10 metres, and loads of you just put that in your basket. If you want it, please check out, because I can't guarantee. Even though you've got it in your basket, it's not guaranteed to be yours until you've checked out. I know. £3.59 pence for a Macau half metre. Oh, Hannah's getting on one today. Right, 
Ice cream. Is that, oh, is that what you're supposed to do? <laughs> yes. Uh, ice creams. It's called blueberry treats, obviously. But where are the blueberries? I can only see sprinkles. Uh, Erin, Erin McMorris, blueberry treats. For uh, look at that, was six ninety nine. Was six pounds and ninety nine pence. Forty percent off, four pounds and nineteen pence for half a meter. It's nice when you start thinking about the um, summer. Oh, I've never seen a, a, um, an ice cream with a cherry on the top. Where are you? Hang on. I obviously don't. There it is down there. Look. I don't. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Don't go to fancy ice cream, please. Something. Oh, John, you're such a cheese. I wish I'd come to your one-man show to hear all your stories. Love, Sean. Sean, do you know what? That one wasn't in it. I'll tell, I'll tell the story. I'll tell the story. Uh, sort of. It, it was the first time I'd met Pierce Brosnan, and we were making his costumes for Around the World in 80 Days, the HBO miniseries. Uh, and he, it was in the days when all, most gentlemen wore box shorts, didn't have buttons on the front. But, of course, the trousers he had to wear in the show were very tight. So we went to the first fitting, pulled his trousers on like that, Anyway, you can imagine the rest. Yeah, moving on. Japanese garden blossom, white on red. Three pounds and fifty. I'm being told off. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I can see a big error. It was three pound fifty-nine, and in the sale, it's three pound fifty-nine. So it was. How, what percentage? Do we know what percentage off it was? I can work it out. Three fifty-nine is the sale price. Is the winter sale price? Well, we'll find out. We'll find out what it was. We'll find out what it was. Hannah will find out by the end of the show what, type, what price the original price was. Should we, put a, should we do a challenge? Hannah. Oh, now I know Hannah likes this, this one because when we first started here, this was featured in, was it Simply Sewing? And from day one, she's been going, oh, can I do the show? Because there's one with elephants, one with alligators and crocodiles and everything. Um, I've only got the elephant one. Oh, this is lovely. Apron, you can tell uh, vegan's got a little child, can't you? Apron. How much this have I got? Was 11.99 for half a metre. So how much? Right, there's only nine metres left in the whole company. Um, it was 11.99 for half a metre, it's now nine pounds and 59 pence. Now look, it's cloud nine, laminate cotton, but coated in P, where are you? Coated in PU. So you see what I mean? It's actually, you know, I, I, you see, I'd have that as a tablecloth. Well, I'm just seething with envy, says Sean. Sean, the other stories I could tell you, that was a very mild one, I tell you now. Don't get me started on Antonio Banderas. Let's just get, move on. Right. Oh, I love this one. This is the one where we can see happy, as happy and sad faces, isn't it? Very essence, very essence of Gucci, this. Can you see? Or Chanel, but Gucci more, I'd say. Lewis and Irene, fairly mount on mustard, gold. Uh, it was 5 99 and it is now £4.19 in the winter sale. Can you see the sad face? But there's the happy face. Oh, hang on, where are you? There's the happy face. There's the sad face. And this one's got peacocks in it somewhere, but I can never see them. I'm joking. We have this fabric with peacocks in it and I cannot see them. It's called peacock fabric, cannot see them. There's no peacocks, there's no peacocks in this one. I'll just stretch right to the front of the desk. Four pounds and 19 pence. Thank you. Right, oh, I like this confetti. This is confetti on charcoal, grey background. Love it because it's got our favourite colour, the ochre in it. Look, been very popular. There won't be much of this left. That's all seven metres. In total, not getting it again, seven metres. It's dashwood, confetti charcoal, was 6 50 In the winter sale, it's £4.50. These are really, these, these are, um, are really miss it, miss out, because we won't be getting any of these again. And these really are, when I'm saying five metres, six metres, seven metres, three metres, it really is the end of the, we should have called it, um, what do they used to call it in the fabric shops when you came, end of range, end of bolt, wasn't it? You know, that kind of thing. That's lovely, I love that one. Right, now back to the horses. I've got ga galloping horses again. No, I'm thinking of um, 
No, that's Crazy Horses. She's singing, she's singing a song called Crazy Horses, but she's calling it Wild Horses. Wild Horses was the song that Susan Boyle did, wasn't it? And then uh, Crazy Horses was the Osmond. Crazy Horses. <laughs> um, but I was thinking of, I was thinking of, on white horses, let me ride away. Do you not remember that one from a Saturday morning in the early 70s? No, nobody was born in the early 70s. Lewis and I are in Gallop On. Now, is it called Gallop On or is it called Gallop? Gallop On, Gallop On, like Trot On. It was, look at it, though, it was 5 99 It's now £4.90 for half a metre. You see, again, I think that as a lining of a handbag would be gorgeous. People think you've got a Gucci handbag. That's what I think. 30% off, innie. Thank you. Oh, more, more attitude. We're going all over the place with the styles today, aren't we? Look, attitude. What's the matter? No, you just go to Jaeger Outlet. Do you go to the one in Leamington Spa? I wouldn't know there was one there. Dash, was, is it the outlet store you go to? The one in Leamington Spa is massive. But the girl in there wears a hat and she's a bit, um, the girl that served me. Attitude Mountains in yellow. I don't think I've ever seen this one. Attitude Yellow Mountain. Oh, there's the yellow line that you liked in the other one. So you know what they've done? They've taken this one and coloured it in. With the one that you like. This one would be more suited for Little Paul because the proportion would be better with for Little Paul for this one. No, not for climbing the mountain, for making his camouflage outfit. Not for him climbing. Oh, no, because he signed up now. You know, the other day I said... Hannah signed her and little Paul up for um, rock climbing classes, right? And she said she's a bit worried because she thought she'd put Paul in the child's children's class. When they got there... Oh, no. She had to... Yeah, she had to, had to get it right. But anyway, Paul said he was so good that the instructor said, would you like to try the more advanced wall? OK, apparently, she said it to everyone, but Paul took it, it was just him. And he had to, had to wear proper shoes and everything. And he's now signed up for a whole course in rock climbing. Are you going as well to the whole course as well? And um, he said the only trouble was his hands and his feet really hurt when he got home. <laughs> well, they would do, wouldn't they, if you're doing this? I love this one. I love this one. Lewis and Irene Gallop on dark blue. Was 5 99 How much? Only 10 metres left in the whole company. 30% off. I like that one. I like that one. That one would look lovely, wouldn't it, as a bag, that one? In fact, the bag that Janice made yesterday would look lovely in that, wouldn't it? £4.19. If you didn't see it, watch on YouTube. Oh, I like this one. This is like the cabbage leaf. They call this cabbage, I think, don't they? Anyway, what did little Paul wear to climb the mountains? You were there. And there, cabbage flower in purple from the harvest range. We'll not get this again. Was, look at it, was 7 99 for half a metre. It is now five pounds. No, yeah, five pounds. I thought I said the wrong thing then. Five pounds and 79 pence for half a metre. Till the cat, we we're not getting harvest again. We're not getting, har not because we don't want to. It's been very, very popular. Only we can't get it. We can't get it. It's nice, isn't it? Oh, Jackie sent a message in. Let's have a look at Jackie's message. Yes, John, that was my favourite programme. Thank you, Jackie. White Horses, written by Jackie Lee, which became my name when I got married. <gasps> Did you write it? Jackie. Oh, no, it came your name when you got married. Jackie Lee. Oh, and Crazy Lorraine's messaging. She'll got to have a hangover. I'm surprised she's even up. Morning job. Great winter sale fabrics. You know how to tempt us, Lorraine. How are... Lorraine went out last night. Her boy is in a band... And she went out to see him, right? She texted me saying, we just, she's older than me, right? She's older than me. She won't mind me saying she's older than me because I'm only 39, so she must be in her 40s now. Um, she's the one who had her hair done, like, uh, not Lorraine Kelly, Ruth, Ruth, right? And anyway, she sent me a picture going, we're just going out now. I was just getting into bed. <laughs> I was just getting into bed, right? She said, I'm ready, I'm going out now. And I'm like, oh, I've just got into bed. And as you remember, yesterday morning, she was in the pub yesterday morning. What a life she has, eh? And she just sews every day. Anyway, we met her at Festival of Quilts. We've already booked... Uh, Dashwood Studio Serengeti. We like these. They've got so much attitude, these leopards, haven't they? 
<clears throat> I love them. Look at the trees and the cactuses. And then the leopards with attitude. 30% off. Are there any leopards on there? There's no other animals, are there? It's not a tortoise or anything on there, is there? No. Anna likes the little cactuses. Okay, Hannah can see a beehive. Right, hang on, I'm here. Oh, hang on, where am I? T direct my hand. What that? That's an aloe vera plant. That one, that's a lighthouse. Fold, I'm on the fold, I'm on the fold. There. Oh, she doesn't mean a beehive, she means a wasp's nest. A beehive is square and wooden like that. With sh right, here we go. Squares on blue. Yeah, but were they bees or wasps in your loft? Yeah, exactly. A and Z, Anne's range, squares fabric in blue, was 5 99 and it is now £3.59 for half a metre. Forty percent off. I've got lots of that. I've got enough of that one. I'm all right with that one at the moment. Oh no, I haven't. No, I haven't. I've got lots of any of these. I've got butterflies. Love is like a butterfly, as soft and gentle as a sigh. The multicolored moods of love are like its satin wings. Who sang that then? I was about to say Angelina Jolie. That's wrong, isn't it? What's she called? Jolene. Jolene. That lady. Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton. Love is like a butterfly, a soft... I'm sure it was... Wasn't it? Wasn't it Dolly Parton? I don't know. Anyway, was seven ninety nine. this. I love it. Butterflies on navy from the Painted Wings range from Wyndham Fabrics. Was seven ninety nine. Hannah's bought some Wyndham Fabrics. The one earlier, the um, Dandelion one was Wyndham Fabrics. Four pounds and 79 pence. It was. Get me that red, get me that red dandelion fabric out there. Keep going down. No, no, get no. I'm sure it is. Thank you. I'll just double check. I don't like to be proved wrong. Because now I'm going to prove myself wrong, Anna, because the salvage is completely different. Oh, it hasn't even got anything written on it. I'll come back to that. Anyway, butterflies. Oh, oh, I love it. Look at it on the move. Match oh, look at that from a distance. Love, 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 love that. Love that. Right, thank you. Uh, now. Oh, OK, uh, the butterfly ones, put it to one side. There's more people with it in their baskets than we've got. We like this one. Springtime. Can't think of a song about springtime. Garden fabric. Oh, it's just called garden. Garden fabric in green. We like this. Look at the, look at the, it was five pounds and 49 pence. It is now three pounds and 29 pence. Nice, isn't it? It's lovely, isn't it? From Andover Fabrics, this one. That's nice. And Hannah says she's never seen this before. We have seen this one before. It's nice. No, it's Andover. Yeah, I do more, I do more shifts than Hannah. So, you know, maybe I did it without her. Maybe that was a little Paul and I exclusive. No, I love this one. Sunflowers. That just sums up summer, doesn't it? Now, I was watching something the other day that said we needed to put sunflowers in our gardens, and I can't remember why. This is a Wyndham fabric, presents Be My Sunshine. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when clouds are grey. Da, 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 dear, how much I miss you. Da, da. There's only five metres left, I'll stop singing. <laughs> Just buy it and I'll stop singing. That's a good, oh, that'd be a good, that'd be a good sales thing, wouldn't it? I'm not stopping singing until you've bought it all. <laughs> God, it sells so quickly then with my, oh, I don't know why I'm folding it. Uh, right, now we've got crosshatch again in the navy blue. This is Wyndham. This is. Yeah. Oh, no, that's where I got confused. 
So you bought this in yellow, didn't you? Yeah, and this is a Wyndham fabric. The dandelion that you bought isn't Wyndham. That's what confused me. Oh, what? Oh, yes. Yeah, it is Wyndham, yeah. Yes. Yeah, no, I thought so. Thank you, um, WH. That's right. Uh, cross hatch in navy. Oh, I didn't realise this was the same range as the... Um, Oh, yeah, of course, it's hand-picked, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. 40% off. Oh, it's only three metres. I was going to say, that make a lovely man's shirt. That would do. Uh, you know when you make a shirt and it's got the pattern, then it's got a white collar and white cuffs? I am going back to the 1970s, but they're very... No, no, that... Not, <laughs> no, not the Princess Diana ruffle look. No, not one of those. Oh, this is nice. I remember this one, because it's all the... This is from Serengeti. Oh, there's only three metres this one. There's only three metres. I love the background colour. Now, what would you describe it as? The colour, I mean, the background colour. <laughs> Dasher Studi Studios, Serengeti Spruce. That's what I'd call it, Spruce. Some people would call it... Um, I don't know, what colour what color would you call... Oh, no, don't speak. Oh, dark green. It's more than dark green, WH. You have to learn these things. Really dark green. Anyway, we're moving on because there's only three metres that that will sell. That will go. That will go. Right, now I've got cocktails. Oh, I don't know. Cocktails. Well, no, no, because normally I have to fold it on my own. I don't normally have an assistant, do I? And poor old Jay, his shoulder's not good at all. Poor boy. Uh, fell out again, yeah. He, I haven't fallen out with Jay. His shoulder fell out. Uh, watermelons. Now, we had watermelon yesterday, didn't we? Because I said we used to sell watermelon tourmaline, didn't we? I don't know if you did, but we did. <laughs> Pineapples and watermelons and ice. How much? 30% off, look. Picnics. I'm thinking, you don't like eating outside. Well, I wouldn't where you live. Well, I wouldn't where you live. Four pounds and 55 pence. You'd have to have all your uh, cutlery and your crockery tied to the table, wouldn't you, really? <laughs> oh, you live there as well. Do you live with Hannah? You moved in with Hannah. Oh. The plot thickens. Plot thickens. A young man has moved in to Hannah's house. Well, no. No men moved into the house. We love this. How much of this is left? We've got parrots. We've got puffins. What's... Uh, we've got a chaffinch with a scarf on. Have I got it the wrong way up? Oh, no, no, no. It's all multi, multi. There's a, not a bumblebee. What's that? Um, hummingbird. Do you know how much a hummingbird weighs? Oh, no. Was it a hummingbird? Yeah, well, how much a hummingbird weighs? Yeah, the same as a penny. That's what it said on the radio. Steve Wright showed the other day. Butterflies. Butterflies. Kookaburra. No. What did we decide that one was? Parrot, another parrot, puffin, toucan. What's that one there? That's a flower. Lily. No, that's, that's a bird of paradise flower. Oh, clever. You see, it's all birds, and then the flower is a bird of paradise flower. That's very clever, isn't it? Anyway, we love this. Uh, it was 6 .50, now £4.55, half a metre. 30% off that one. Dashwood fabrics, they're all quality fabrics, aren't they? Now, um, I remember having this one in blue. I don't remember it in this lovely colour. Again, it's dashwood. We, had, we, had definitely, had this, we definitely had this in blue, didn't we? Ooh, the ironing's getting worse the further down the pile we get, I have to say. Dashwood, are they doves? What's it called? Let's have a look. Jardin. That means garden. Olive birds. Yes, there was, wasn't there? I love that colour. It's very soft. Now, on your telly, on my telly's in here, on my telly in here, it's looking grey. But actually, in real life, it's more of a, gr well, obviously, olivey green, but very, very pale. Let me hold it up for camera too, because that gives you the best. Oh, look, there you go, you see. It is a bit like uh, uh, that posh paint company. Oh, you wouldn't know. 
They're all looking at me now going, well, what posh paint company? Uh, so you see, I, ca I can't believe I've lived in my house for six years now. I can't believe it. It all needs de I had it all decorated when I moved in. You yeah, had posh paint, but it's all six years old posh paint, isn't it? Right, this is pretty. This is very subtle, this one. No, it's because it's old house in London, isn't it, you see? So I thought I could afford posh paint when I got here. Look at this. Dashwood Studios. Jardin. In the cream. It was 6 50 It's now £4.55, 30% off. That's very subtle, that one, isn't it? I'm thinking lounging pyjamas or something like that, or a little kimono for Sunday mornings. Or any morning, but, you know, especially on a Sunday morning. <laughs> All right, I was, I was envisaging, there used to be an advert for, called Easy Light Sunday Morning, I think it was for a building site, and it was like a young couple sitting on a, like a barn conversion, a bit opened, not a barn conversion, like a canal building, and then the canal all fast. Hannah's sitting there eating bacon butties, that's what she's thinking of. Alone eating bacon butties on a Sunday morning. We're nearly always here. I'm in every, week, I'm in every weekend this month. I'm not quite sure how that always works out, how I end up doing it every single weekend. Don't mind, I'm not moaning. I have no life. I have no life, so I might as well come here, might they? Uh, oh, I like this one. I, I, I don't know why I'm turning it around. I don't think it's got a direction. <laughs> Flares. But, oh, look at that butterfly there. Oh, yeah, hang on, where are you? Look at that butterfly there. That reminds me of some earrings for some reason. Oh, yes. That, that, there's a butterfly with petals as wings. Right, hang on a sec. Oh, no, because there's one made out of a doily. There's a, but oh, there's a butterfly made out of a doily there. Which one's your hand? Looking? Oh, there. That's one Hannah likes, that one there. Right, that's gorgeous, that. So what we got? Dashwood Studio, Tropicana, Navy. Oh. To, I, well, I'd say it was a kind of French navy myself. But anyway, it's lovely. I wouldn't have called it navy, but I love the colours in there. £4.55 for half a metre. Let me hold that. Look. Nice. OK, moving on. Uh, oh, now, and now I remember this one. Dashwood Jardin. It's called Blue Flowers. Blimey. I might be a bit self-indulgent there. Flat, time's flying by. I will do, I'll do, I've got about I've, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to show you, and then I'll go through and tell you what's sold out and what's left. Uh, got to, oh, you better stay where you are then. Uh, please beware of your baskets. Dashwood Studio, Jardin. Blue flat was at 6.50. It is now £4.55. Yeah, Lorraine said, I, I am up, John. I'm not hungover. And yes, I'm only uh, in my 40s. She w and then she's put, I wish, in brackets. Vanessa's mission. you've made me spend again, John Scott. Thank you for great fabrics, Vanessa. Oh, Vanessa, I could have popped them round. She's only local. Oh, no, I've got to go to Warwick. I've got to go to Warwick after work today. I've got a meeting in Warwick. A meeting. Oh, no, not a, not a date. <laughs> no, it's a proper meeting about work and things. No, no, I'm not, not about my work, about, I'm, I'm consulting somebody else. It's sounding worse than my... Just look at this, just look at my little... Um, yeah, think about, look at the fabric. Hummingbirds, they weigh a penny. That's what they said on... I'm sure it said hummingbirds on Steve Wright. Or did they say a wren? Because Steve Wright... No, no, it was Steve Wright, because he guessed a pound. And everybody, like, not a pound in... A pound coin, a pound in weight. And he was like... They wouldn't get off the ground if they were a pound, would they? Four pounds and 55 pence now was six pound 50. Well, it's like an air, how, I, I, you see, this is why I'm not a technical person. How does an aeroplane stay up in the air, right? It's a great big lump of metal with thou, thousands of people in it, right? How does it stay up? How does a ship float? Oh, Hannah, that's the oldest, that's the oldest question ever. <laughs> I'm not even going to mention that one, yeah. Uh, now, we love this one. This one's called grass, isn't it? I seem to remember. Yeah, cream grass. I like this with the little seeds. Or that could be the pollen, couldn't it? Was £6.50 for half a metre. It's now £4.55. 
30% off. Okay, I've got Kaif. I've got Kaif now. Not him, he's not here. <laughs> Look, Squiggle. Now, this may be the one that causes issues. It is. Right, please have a look at this fabric. Oh, it's in already, look. Mauve. Uh, not us. Kate chose mauve. It's called mauve. Anyway, it's fine. It's gorgeous. What's six ninety nine half a meter? It's now four pounds eighty nine pence. Thirty percent off. Yeah, that's what I said. Four pounds and eighty nine pence. Now, now I love this one. I'm surprised there's any of this one left. Because I'm sure last time I showed it to you, there wasn't enough to make a shirt out of. Very, very limited. Pardon? Now, I would have called that bronze and blue, but it's called brown. I love that one. Love the colour in that one. Um, right, I've never seen this one before. Never, ever, ever. Oh, that's a song from The Greatest Showman. I won't sing that. Um, I've never seen it before. It's free spirit. It's a free spirit one, this. Erin McMorris, Blueberry. Oh, so it must, this must match the Blueberry ones from earlier. Did Erin do, did Erin do the cocktail one as well? Are you sure? Four pounds and 19 pence I like the drawings. I think they're lovely. Really, really nice. Four pounds and 19 pence for half a meter. Only two more fabrics to show you now. I thought you'd got that wrong. I didn't want to say. In front of everybody. Yeah, but you're off tomorrow. I'm on day three of six. I woke up this morning thinking, oh, I'll be off tomorrow. No, I'm not. I've got another three, three days to go in this. Watch, because we're on Sky tomorrow. Remember? Oh, don't you? Oh. Uh, that's, uh, no, wrong fabric. That's the wrong. Oh, is it not? Oh, it's still over my Morris Blueberry, but they're, all the others have been ice creams, haven't they? Oh, because the blueberry cake's on the front. Is that a blueberry cake on the front of the bike? Oh, it's just a basket. I haven't got my glass. It looks like a muffin to me. No, it's a basket with flowers in it. It's a basket with flowers in it. And it's not a giant cake. It's nice, though, isn't it? Lovely colour. I love the colour of that. Was six ninety nine. now £4.19. pence. You're going off to get your ice cream with that one. Thank you. And last but not least, now it's funny because we started with this range and we're finishing with this range. Now they call this denim. It's not, de oh, oh, is it, am I right? Yeah, it's not denim. It's not denim at all. It's like a denim print. But it's wide. It's seven pounds and 49 pence. It was 12 pounds and 49 pence for half a meter. Look at the width, 150 wide. 80% cotton, 20% polyester, £7.49 for half a metre. It's a nice colour, nice like a terracotta brick colour. Oh, lovely, thank you. Right. <laughs> Come on, put it down. We've got to, I've only got a minute. Up! Oh! Nearly, we nearly saw you then. Right, quickly. This one is the same as that one, but blue. There's only five metres of that left now. Five metres of that one left. There it is. Afternoon sale, solid, smooth, denim fabric by Art Gallery was £12.49, now £7.49. In the winter sale, there's only five metres left. Right. There's only two metres of the crosshatch in red. I do. £4.79 was £7.99. Okay. Blue Rhapsody, there's just three metres of this one left now. It's been slow. We've got about six minutes. So we're all right. No, got more than that, haven't we? Oh, no, six minutes. Right. Then we've got the It's a Hoot. Okay. Single figures of this one. Get it the right way up. There you go. Oh, no, come on. Four seventy nine. It was seven ninety nine. Owls on white fabric from It's a Hoot. 
Okay. Cross hatching green. Oh, I've got a seven and a half meters of this. Seven and a half meters of this one. It's nice green, nice fresh apple green, that one. Okay, next one, uh, seven and a half meters of blue rhapsody in the spring. Now, you see, the thing is, you know why I don't think these sold as quickly as the other blue rhapsodies? Because on the telly, in real life, it's just gorgeous. It's like a Delft pattern, isn't it? Or willow. Remember the willow plate patterns? It's very like that. There you go. It's the ditzy flower with the white background. Was eight forty nine. Now five pounds and nine pence for half a meter. Okay. Dash with Serengeti with the cat's face. There's only five units or five meters. Five meters. Of this one left. Okay, moving on. Right, the trinkets one is sold out. The Twilight Days had already sold out. We put that up there. What, the cotton reels? Cotton reels are sold out. Canopy Gold now, sold out. Attitude Mountains, sold out. Mid, mid, oh, sold out. Right, hang on, I've got Bubbles next. Bubbles are sold out. Then I've got the stripes. Oh, oh, that, um, oh, WH put them back in the wrong place. Right, sorry, no, no, no. Dandelions in red sold out. Sold out. Oh, right, there's two metres of this one left. Two metres of the dandelions in red sold out. WH just put it back in the wrong place. Oh, right, now, we've got, now it's gone, now it's gone, now it's gone. Stripes. There's five metres of the stripe left. I'm surprised about that one. The other stripe one sold out ages ago, didn't it? There you go, 329, half metre. Okay, plaid, sold out. Uh, I've... This one. There's only one metre of that left if you want that. Are you going to put the graphics in or not? Yeah. No, no, I just I didn't know if it was only one. There you go, one metre. There's only one metre of that left. OK. Then I've got the ice creams, the blueberry ice creams. Only three, three and a half metres of that left. Yeah, three and a half metres of that one left. Oh, it's less now. Two and a half metres now. Two and a half metres of that one left, that's all. OK. Then I've got five and a half metres of the Japanese garden. Oh, here we go. This is the one that is now 359, but the graphic said it was 359. So it's now, oh no, it is now 359 and it was 599. Okay, 599 was 359 now. Okay, now the elephants on PU. Little frog on there as well, look, and flowers. Nine pounds and fifty-nine in the winter sale was eleven ninety-nine. It's very wide and it's a PU covered, you know, like so you can make um, ponchos or tablecloths or anything like that. Uh, Galapon. Nine meters left of that one. Nine meters left of that one was five ninety-nine. It's now four pounds and nineteen pence. So then, what's next? So nine metres, I'm oh, surprised, the dashwood charcoal. It's nine metres that left. I'm surprised because that's been a really, really, really top seller, that one. Dashwood confetti on charcoal was 6 50 now £4.55. pence. Then I've got the uh, gallop on horses on beige and gold. Nine metres that one left. All of these will be on the website again tomorrow in the winter sale. So if you missed out on them, or go to the winter sale now and see what else is in there. Five ninety nine was now four pounds nineteen pence. Uh, Attitude Mountains, eight meters of that left. Yeah, 
Please check out. If you've got them in your basket, you do need to check out. Um, horses on Bloom. Am I going to get to the end of this in time? Three metres, that's all I've got left of that one. Three metres. I think that looked lovely inside your bag. Okay, then I've got tilled the cabbage. There's only five metres of this one left. And the harvest range, we're not doing the harvest range anymore. Not because we don't want to, we just can't. We can't get it. Can't get it. 5.79 was seven pounds and 99 pence. Then I've got Serengeti. The, um, there's only four metres of this left now. This is the one with all the leopards on, the leopards with attitude. Okay, that's 4.55. Right, so this one, sold out. Butterflies are sold out. Garden fabric in green is sold out. There's only two metres of the sunflowers left. See? Crosshatch coming up next. Oh, the blue cross hatch is sold out. I said that would make a lovely man's shirt. Serengeti spruce is sold out. I've got cocktails now. Just tell me, are there any more sold out? Sold out, I'll just get rid of those. 4.55, what's 6.50? Okay, Tropicana Pink Birds. Oh, that one is about to sell out. This one. Yeah. That's really, really popular, that one. There's a little bit left. For all the others, just go... I'll oh, put the graphics in for that one. For all the others, just go to the website, and they're listed underneath me there. Um, if they're sold out... <coughs> excuse me, if they're sold out, they won't be there. Uh, remember, Jennifer Taylor is up next. Now, we're doing a two-part show. We're doing a show where she's doing some sewing, and then we're doing the second part where we're doing some sashko, because I've never done sashko before. So it'll be really for sashko for beginners, because I have no idea even what it is. So Jennifer's going to teach me and you at the same time what it's all about. So I'm really looking forward to that. But first, before that, she's doing this, um, a jewellery roll and an apron. and oh, sorry, shit. Three minutes from now. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. Simply Sewing is a magazine for dressmakers and home sewists who are passionate about fabrics and love to sew with stylish patterns. Each issue is packed with technical know-how, templates and easy to follow instructions to sew yourself quick wardrobe updates, accessories, plushy toys, gifts, bags and more. Plus, each issue comes with a free dress pattern from our expanding trend-led collection. We're proudly flying the flag for contemporary sewing with stylish patterns and beautiful photography to inspire sewists across the globe at every level. Fly up, up and away with Lucy Brennan on Tuesday as she sets off to the sky with this hot air balloon lap quilt. On Tuesday the 16th of January, Lucy will be sharing this delightful pattern designed by Sarah Ashford as first seen in issue 56 of Love Patchwork and Quilting. This perfectly pretty quilt brings the magic of flight to anyone who sees it. Bob away in the grey basket, flying high with the help of brilliant balloons created using simple solids of pastel pinks and vivid yellows, blues and greens, a real spectrum of colour on a crisp white background. So join us on Tuesday the 16th of January at 8am to see this simple and stylish hot air balloon design come to life. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. There are many ways you can watch Sewing Quarter. We are live every day on Freeview Channel 78 and online at sewingquarter.com from 8am till 12 noon. But if you've missed a show, don't worry, there are two easy ways to catch up. The first is through our website, www.sewingquarter.com, where we repeat that morning's shows throughout the day. On the homepage, you'll see our video stream. Click on the video to hear sound and see a list of the products that we have shown in that day's shows. The second way to catch up is on our YouTube channel. 
All our shows are kept on YouTube, so if you buy a product and want to see the demonstration again, you can. Go to www.youtube.com forward slash sewing quarter where you'll find all our shows listed by date. Select your preferred date, then using the description beneath the video, jump to the hour you want to watch. Then you can pause, rewind, play and skip your way to the bits that you want to watch again. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. That was my fault. That was my fault. You saw that so in quarter for longer than you should have done. I just put a slice of apple in my mouth because I was shouting at WH. And then, um, I wasn't shouting, wasn't shouting, not being aggressive. Um, did you know that H Hayley took me for lunch the other day and then she went, we sat down and thought, this is nice. And she went, now I've got to have a word with you about how aggressive you are to this. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. She said, they're all frightened of you. You're not frightened. No, nobody. You're not frightened of me, are you, Jennifer Taylor? Yeah. No. Hannah's very fine, but so she should be. Right, uh, now before we start the show, before we start the show, two things, two things, two things. Get your competition blocks in as soon as you can. We, it's our birthday on the 31st. Part of our birthday celebrations is we're going to make a huge quilt with your block. So we want you to design and, uh, design and make 12 inch finished, but 12 and a half inch, because we're going to sew it together. Don't quilt it, don't back it, don't finish it. Just make it 12 and a half inches. So when we sew them all together, they're all 12 inch blocks. They can be patchwork, they can be embroidery, they could be English paper piecing, foundation piecing, um, embroidery, anything, anything you want them to be. But they need to be in by the 20th. You won't get them back. The, uh, the, the, there's a panel of five people who are going to pick their favourite, three or four. Those people will win bundles of fabric. All of the terms and conditions are on the website. Go to the front page of the website, go right down to the bottom, terms and conditions, click on it. The address of where you need to get them into is there. But you need to be quick because they need to be in by the 20th. They need to be here at um, sewing quarter by the 20th. I'm really sorry my wire's catching. I'll be with you in a second. Um, right. Uh, the other thing I have to tell you is... Um, oh, have a look. I know, from tomorrow morning, am I, um, <laughs> my ears all caught up. Let's have a look at it full screen. Let's have a look at it full screen. Um, we're going on Sky from tomorrow morning. <laughs> at eight o'clock, we're going to be on Sky. Now, we're also staying on Freeview. We're staying on Freeview. Um, and we're going to be on YouTube. <laughs> I'm sorry, I really have to explain what, why I'm giggling. I really have to explain. You know, we've got these, right? An earpiece and a microphone, right? And there are wires, right, that go down and they're tucked into here and here. And the excess is tucked in here, right? Um, I've just been to the restroom, the, the, you know, comfort, had a comfort break. And the wire, I've tucked the wire in the wrong place. So it was all caught where it, should, <laughs> where it shouldn't have been caught. And I was thinking, what's that tugging? Why am I tugging there? Anyway, anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't laugh, don't laugh. So from tomorrow morning, we will be on Sky as well. And, and, uh, and I'll see you on the Facebook Live. So I'm telling you, my Freeview viewers now, but obviously I'll be telling the Facebook people. Uh, uh, half, is it half past 12 I'm telling them today? Half past 12 today. Has anybody got me a lunch then? How am I going to have my lunch? Anyway, that's by the by. Right, um, we've got Jennifer Taylor here. Two, the show is cut into two halves. The first half is sewing, right? So, um... You see this lovely apron? Now, Jennifer's not going to make this. She's made it on a previous show before. There's a bundle for it. Now, did we get the... Did we manage to get the Rick Racks or not? No, OK, not to worry, not to worry. There's Rick Rack on the website. It's on the website. It's on the website, right? Don't worry. Um, right, so uh, what you get in this bundle is you get two metres of, of the fabric and you get the book. £29.99. Now, what I'll do is go through the book in a minute because we have got the book on its own available for you as well. 20 projects to make for the retro home. OK, there's the kit. That's that kit, £29.99. Now, I'm presuming that when um, they did the apron last time, there was that one and there was this uh, version as well. Because here's the bundle again, the book and the two metres of fabric. There's the still. £34.99. <clears throat> 
Now, if you want to buy the book on its own, you can do that, because you might have your fabric already that you've got at home already, might not you? So, let me just show you about through the book. The book is lovely, because it's very, very much like it's Desperate Housewives. That's what it reminds me of. It's lovely and homely. It's all these, um, well, there's 20 projects, look, for your vintage, for your retro home. From ironing board covers, to pot holders, to oven gloves, to cafetiere covers. There's the apron there. Well, that's one apron. And then there's a, a, another apron, a full apron, butcher's apron there. We've got the um, carrier bag holder there. Hot, um, hot water, hot bottle. Hot water bottle cover. And then you've got eye masks. Oh, that, that, that's the, we can, Jennifer's going to do that. That's the jewellery roll there. Um, so many projects. Oh, there's the bag. Is that that bag? Oh, there's that bag. We're doing that bag. Uh, anyway, so it's a gorgeous, gorgeous book. It's £14.99. £14.99. Lots of lovely pictures, lots of lovely instructions and everything as you go. £14.99. Now, what the other things Jennifer is, uh, is showing, we're not going to make, we're going to do it like the last show. We're going to show techniques and everything. One of the techniques we've done in this uh, laundry bag is we've got lovely eyelet detail around the top. Right, that's the bag, that's the bag, right? So we've done a bundle for you to make that bag, plus others, plus other things, right? So what you do is you get two meters of the aeroplane fabric and one meter of the plain Macawa. So three meters of fabric, it's just the, just the fabric in there, just the fabric, 21 pounds and 99 pence. And then Jennifer's other project, this is so cute, this is. This is like um, a jewelry roll now, the first jewellery roll I ever saw was um, when I did, um, I'm going to name drop again here, Elton John's um, 57th birthday costume, and I did his, no, 47th and 50th I did. And he went to the safe and he got all his jewellery out and it was in one of these. I have to say it was about 20 times bigger than this, but um, it didn't have bikes on it, it was just calico his. But anyway, look, we've got a little zip pocket there. It's got the little Velcro bit there for your rings, little pockets and everything there. £25 and 49 pence. So that, uh, what we're going to do is I'll take those with me because... Um, have a look at this still while I walk over. Oh, now, we've also got that bundle. I'm not, oh, that's on the table. That's, all, oh, I don't know, okay. that's on the table already. <laughs> I'll get it right in a minute. What you get in that bundle, it's like a haberdashery bundle. You get eyelets, you get Velcro, you get cord, you get two zips and you get um, some poppers. And um, that's a lovely little kit, because then you've got all your basics for when you do these projects. OK. Jennifer, welcome back. Hello. So, let's, we're going there first. Have you sorted first, yourself though. out now? Sort of, not really. Oh. Right. right. This is cute, isn't it? This it's is nice, we, yes. Um, just talk me through it, because we're going to just do, or you're going to just do the zip <laughs> yeah. detailing on yeah. here, aren't you? Because the other half of the show, I need to tell you, is that um, Jennifer's going to teach me how to do sashko. Mm -hmm. So that's what the first, second half of the show, that's what we're going to rush through the first half there. I've, been, I've, been, I've kept saying, didn't I? Why haven't I done it? Why haven't I done it? Why haven't I done it? Anyway, I'm doing it today. <laughs> uh, right. So, uh, yeah, the jewellery wrap, really nice little make. Fantastic gift for not only yourself, but mm -hmm. also, you know, if you've got an occasion coming up, birthdays, Christmases, whatever. Christmases. Um, Don't be thinking about Christmas already. Oh, you've got to get the craft yeah, in early. Yeah. Um, I really like it because you've got lots of different compartments. So you've obviously got your zipped pocket area there. Yeah. Um, you've got two little pockets Oh, I missed those out, yes. As well. You've obviously, you mentioned the ring holder there. So obviously yeah. you pop your rings on and the Velcro will keep them Such in place. Such a good idea. Uh, and then you've got your nice little pockets there as well. Put your little pendants in there or something, Yeah, definitely. You? And obviously the idea is that it all rolls up and then obviously you can wrap around with And you your... put it in the safe. Yeah, obviously. Yes. obviously. So now all the instructions mm. and cutting instructions, making yes. instructions are all in the book, aren't they? So uh, this is the book. Yeah. Uh, really lovely book. Lots and lots of projects in there which you've already gone through. So there's the jewellery wrap there. There's some the instructions. So you can see the pictures are really clear. You really can see what you're doing on that. Okay. Do you get patterns Yeah, in I was about book? to say that. Oh, so yes. in here you've got your patterns. Um, for all the projects that you need to pattern the for, they're in all there. in there. So um, in there, the everything you need is in the pattern books in there. Um, just so you know that they are double-sided, guys. Oh, okay, so you can't cut them out. You can't, can't cut, cut them, them out. out, but then we, on our Sashko half hour, uh, there's a, a, a 
part, part of the kit that we use for Sashiko could easily transfer over to this. Okay. So you've got your char copy in there and everything. That, so basically, we'll explain that later, but you, you have to copy, definitely copy those patterns because you don't want to cut into them, otherwise you'll lose half your patterns. Brilliant. All right? Okay. Um, so similar to my first hour, I thought I'd just focus on the tricky bits. Yes. Um, and I know that some of you get put off by doing zips, zips. especially yeah. when it comes to garments. So I think when you have a project like this, even though it's a jewellery wrap, you're tackling how to do zips, so then you can transfer that over into your dressmaking. So I'm going to cover that off first. Um, but also, if you practice on doing a little straight line like this in a project like yeah. this, it's going to give you more confidence than put a zip in Absolutely. to a dress Absolutely. or a blouse Absolutely. or anything. Or not uh, blouse, but you know. Well, yeah, it, well yeah. it's all transferable skills, yes, isn't yes, it? Exactly. Definitely. So I thought I'll cover off the zip one because it's a little bit complicated because it's going in, the zip insertion is going into two different pockets. So that's why I thought this would be a good part to, uh, oh, yes. to cover off. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so it's, it's, I see what you mean. So it, it, it's you can't in the end it. of that pocket, but the actual pocket is yeah, going yeah. that way. So, so it's, um, I thought that would be a nice yes. one to, to cover Brilliant. off super quickly. Okay, so I'm going to put that to one side then. Yeah. So I've got... Um, not all my pattern pieces, because I'm just showing you that one section. Yeah, of course. Um, but this is gonna, this is the lining of my uh, jewellery roll. I've got my pocket. Yes. I've got my other pocket, and then I've got my zip. Okay, so how you do with your fabric combinations is entirely up to you. Of course, because okay. there's plenty of fabric in the bundles. Oh, there's isn't absolutely there? loads. This is the take flight bundle where you get two meters of the aeroplanes and one meter of the blue. Of the blue. Yeah, yeah that's right. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do um, is attach my zip to the first pocket right. okay a uh, pocket piece and it, it does come with two different pocket pieces again it's all in the book so don't worry yes and um, so with this one it really doesn't matter because it's you can't really tell which one's no, exactly. right or wrong side yeah. anyway so it doesn't really matter whereas obviously with this one it really would make a difference so yep. we'll cover that off in a second so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to place my zip onto my fabric so notice that it's not off the fabric it's on the oh, fabric okay and it's butt up against that raw edge there. Okay, okay. so the first thing we're gonna do is stitch that in place. So you need to go over to your machine right. and you need to dig out your zipper foot. Okay. Not dig out, it'll be in the compartment it'll for be in the, the zipper compartment. foot on the 680. If, you're, if yours don't, doesn't come with the compartment, yes. you need to go dig it out. Exactly. I know I have to dig mine out anyway. So I'm gonna stitch that in place first. So you can see that I've opened up the zip already. I haven't bothered to uh, pin in place. I'm just positioning that as I go. Yeah. So you've moved, have you moved, your, you moved your needle over to this side. So your needle is in the same side as your zip teeth. As the zip teeth, that's And you're right. tying down that side of the zipper foot, yeah. Okay, so there'll be a point now where we need to stop because we've got the head of the zip that we can't go around. So make sure the needle is in the fabric, okay, before you lift the foot up. Then what that allows you to do is then pivot. Right. And you can pass that zip through the back. Yep. Okay, so it's out the way now and then just reposition the zip and then you can carry on with the rest of the stitch. Brilliant. Okay, so that's mm -hmm. that bit done. Right. So there's the one side of the zip attached. Coming into it now. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go, brilliant. So you see it's attached on that one side. Yeah. It's got a nice straight line there. So the first thing we're going to do is with our iron, we're going to press that down, okay. Can we do it? Oh, yeah, I'll just over? get it out for you now. What would be good in this is that little, my lovely little iron iron. Your little, is it the little clover the, one? Not, not the clover adapter, the little prim. Oh yeah, the prim one would be the good. The one we all love so much. I do like the prim. Psh, with steam. Psh. Okay, so I'm just pressing that seam down. So the great thing about your zipper foot is that it's stitched it really close to the zipper teeth. Right. Super close which is fabulous. Yeah. Um, but I want to finish that off with a top stitch, okay? Right. So I'm going to go back in again with my machine and go down the, um, the zip. So, you so you've still got the needle and the zipper foot and everything in the same place as you had it before, but you're going down the zip. I'm just time. going down yeah. the zip. So this, this is optional. You don't have to do this. But, okay, I've but got a quick question from Hannah. She yep. said she just watched you put the iron on a plastic zip. Is it fine to iron a plastic zip? Uh, yeah, but if you're medium, don't go too hot with yeah. your iron. Yeah. And don't stay there too long. She says uh, thank you. Huh? She says thank you. Oh, cool. Um, no, you can, but just watch what you're doing with the heat. And if you've got your pressing cloth, then you'll be fine anyway. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going all the way down. So this is purely decorative because I've already stitched my zip in place. It doesn't, doesn't need that extra line of stitching. It's purely decorative. Oh, but I quite like it because it means that the fabric also doesn't roll back roll over back. If, if it was had that 
tendency to do Absolutely. that, it doesn't roll back onto the zip. So you can see so. I've done that line of top stitching yeah. there, just keeping that zip in place. Okay. Um, the other reason why I'm doing this line of stitching is because I'm going to be doing something similar on the other side, so you don't have a pocket going into the other two pockets. Do you remember yes. this yep. section here? I'm sorry, it's a ravel the ribbon. Yeah, that's all right. So that's my line of stitching that I've just completed. Just coming in. Ready? Yeah, we should cool. that. Yeah. So that's the line of stitching that I've just completed. Okay, right. so we're going to do another line of stitching on the other side because if I don't, then I'd be able to get into that part of the, the pocket. Of pocket so, it'll, yeah. so there's no point in the zip, is there? So I wanted that clean double line of stitching. So that's the reason why okay. I've done it. So I've done that one bit first. So that's that bit completed. So now it's about doing the two pockets, the double so pocket. So you've done this one the opposite way around here. So that's the... If you've just done that stitch there, yeah. your pattern is your plane in my this one, and your plane is going to be your pattern. Yeah, one it's going to be. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to be doing this section now with the yeah. two pockets. Okay. okay? So the first thing you need to do with your fabric is fold over that raw edge to so give it a nice double hem. Yeah. So it's once and twice with the iron, and then just go in with a top stitch. So I'll do that super quick mm -hmm. first. I'm going to, for speed, I'm just going to leave my zipper foot on. Yeah. Um, but obviously, you might want to change that at home if you. Yeah. Not as confident. And you're stitching right close to the edge again, are you? Uh, I'm coming in a little bit, so oh, okay. I, I can feel um, that I'm making sure that I'm catching oh, the, the underside. Down, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So there you go, there's the, zip, there's the stitch on the back okay. side. Brilliant. Okay. Hang on a sec, we got that? There you go. Can you see that? Yeah. Just about over the blue, over the blue planes yeah. there. Okay, so that's just kept it all down nice and neat. Right, so this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Okay. So we're going to put the right sides together but this time we're concentrating on this side of the zip. Yeah. Okay, so again, you might want to just pull your zip down to make it easier for yourself. So what I like to do is line up not only the zip edge, but also the fabric as well, and that way you know it's all going to be lined up. Can you yeah. see? Yeah. So that's that bit done. And I'm going to stitch that down again, but okay. this time you can't really see the zip. But because of the zipper foot, it's doing all the work for you, so you don't need to worry about that. Yeah. So you can hear that I'm not clunking, there's no, nothing going on underneath. <laughs> it, that's, what, that's the whole point of the zipper foot, it just makes things a lot easier for you. So again, I'm working my way down that length of the zip, and again, I'm not going to stitch too close to the zip head yet, so I'm going to leave it there. Yeah. Again, my needle is in the fabric, so it's not moving anywhere. So I'm lifting the foot up, so if I just Peel that back. I need to move this zip head. Oh, hang on. We need to be the other side. Other side. There you go. There you go. So I've just all I've done is peeled back that fabric. I yeah. don't need to worry about this because the needle's doing all the work for me. I need to move that zip out of the way. So again, lifting the foot allows it to rotate round. Yeah. There so that's go. now at the back. It's out of the way. Yeah. I reposition my fabric and then I can just continue as normal. And the stitch, nothing's moved because you had the needle down the whole time, holding Absolutely. it in place, anchoring it in place. Brilliant. Okay. So then. Ta -da! So now we've got our zip in place. Right. So the top stitch I'm going to do now, I'm going to layer up because that's going to stop me, my pocket going into my other pocket. Yeah. Does in real life, would you now press that yeah. back? So yeah. So I'm going to give that oh, a quick press. Oh, you can do that now, right. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. So this is the lining of my jewellery pouch yep. okay so I haven't wadded anything at this point so I'm just layering up yeah so I'm popping that there first and then popping that there so I'm going to pop a few pins in place just to keep it in place before I get to the sewing machine okay the bundle that Jennifer's using here is the take flight bundle it's just disappeared out there you get the um two meters of the fa uh, fabric with the airplanes and one meter of the blue fabric there Okay, let's move back to this then. There you go, perfect. Okay. So what I've done is just popped a couple of pins and just to keep my zip in, in place, because okay, that's lovely. where it's lined up. So now again, you want to get this zip out of the way. It just makes it a lot easier. So we're going to go all the way down to a halfway point. So at the, in the instructions, it's a halfway path, um, right, pocket. pocket yeah. But you can put as many pockets of as course, you like yeah, in there yeah, if exactly. you wanted to. Um, so I'm going to go do that with the machine. So again, I'm still on my zipper foot. I've not changed my foot yet. Okay. I'm just popping that down. So I'm going to stitch down. And then when I want to create my pocket, I'm going to leave it in the fabric, lift the foot up, rotate, and then sew towards my double hem. Right. 
So if you wanted to um, draw a line on this with your fabric water erasable pen, yeah. so you've got a nice straight line you can do, but I'm just eyeballing you can follow it. The, oh, so you follow the pattern. Yeah. So then once I've hit that line of top stitching with my double hem, I'm going to come along that stitch now, a couple of stitches, maybe two, no yeah. more than three. And then I'm going to come back down on myself. So that's giving me my junction for my pocket. I'm going to go all the way down. Why do you go across two stitches and not go back down on the line of stitching? If you done? just go up and then go straight back down, you've only you've got a very thin point at the top where your pocket is. Oh, okay. Whereas if you stitch across a couple of stitches, it just makes it a bit more secure, so okay. it won't come away. You're less likely to break your stitches that way. Okay. And then you can just carry on as normal. So if you want to put another pocket in, you can do. But for speed, I'm just going to go no, all the way down. I was going to say, because um, time is running away with us again. Straight down. OK. So there we have our... So obviously, you would base the rest of that pocket in place by sewing the, the three corners there, yeah. one, two, and three. There's your zip, so that's nice and uh, secure now. So let's pretend I've stitched by popping that pin in. So we've got our lovely pocket in here now. Yeah. But then we've also got our pockets here and here, but they're not going into that pocket. No, and also they'll be secured when you do that yes, seam. Exactly, won't they, there? yeah. So you'd base that down on those three Brilliant. sides. So that's the zip. But and it's the, nice and clean finish, isn't it? The rest of the construction is just uh, are almost the same. You just then attach the <coughs> the ring, your and ring then holder, those are the pockets. And then, pockets in there. then you bind it and quilt yeah, it. Yeah, so then once you've, <coughs> once you've layered up all of your sections, so obviously this is how it's in the book, but you could you can play yeah. around with the design on this. Um, then I would do it like you would do a quilt, so you do your sandwiches. So obviously you've got your inside, you've got your wadding, and then you've got your outside fabric. Yeah. And then you just bind around the edge. So it's okay. a really nice, simple project, a really nice one for gifts. Great stash buster as well. Okay, very quickly, <clears throat> of the books on their own of our today's allocation, we've only got 20 left, is that right? Oh, less Ooh. than 20 left now. And I need to warn you, we're about to go on to islets on the, on the wash bag next. Uh, we're done yep. with this, but we're about to go on to the islets, the wash bag next. We've got this bundle. There's only five of these left. They've flown out. We can do islets and rope on their own later, but if you want the whole bundle for £23.49 mm -hmm. of the Velcro, the islets, the cord, the two zips and the poppers, <coughs> there's, less than, there's only five of those left. There's only five of those left. Right. OK? OK. Now, are we moving on? Sorry, yes, I'm hurrying you along here. I do apologise. No, no, so now this project is in the book as well, isn't yep. it? This one, again, is te the take flight. We've used the same fabric for this one as well. Mm -hmm. um, this looks quite a simple... Very, very simple make. The only thing that's a bit tricky and you need a bit of hardware is just the eyelet. So I thought yes. we'd concentrate on no, that No, no, that's for brilliant. You. So the pattern is all in the book. Mm -hmm. You've got box bottoms so to give you that extra so it can yeah. stand up when you've got your dirty washing in and everything. Mm -hmm. And I, I presume you can make it to any size you want. Oh can't yeah, you? once you've got your head around the pattern pieces, and you can you can make this as big or as large as you like. I was going to say because like. that maybe three pairs of pants would be full, <laughs> wouldn't it? Um, but then also from uh, in the book, it's not lined, but because they're using a very uh, like heavy cotton, almost like a drill. So um, I've decided to line mine using the, the two contrasting fabrics. But you get so. three meters of fabric. Yeah, you got plenty, plenty to of make fabrics both, in there. It? So <clears> it's not as per the book because I've lined mine. Okay. Whereas in the book, it's showing you how to do French seams. So you're learning again. You're, you're applying your dressmaking finishes in your uh, your handmade exactly. house project. Exactly. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through your eyelets. eyelets. Okay, Brilliant. So let's just imagine that this is our, our bag. So you can see that I've got um, my lining, which is the blue, and the main fabric is my um, aeroplane yes. one. Um, now, what I did, and I've interfaced the whole thing, but I, I didn't bother interfacing the whole of the bag. Right. But what I did do is make sure that I interfaced the top section where the eyelets are going to be going. So it's just in that section there. Okay, so basically. literally just the top casement Yeah, so bit. you can see you've got two lines of stitching. I did that later on, but yeah. basically that area there, all the way around, all is, the way around. is, is interface. Okay. It just helps support <clears throat> that eyelet a little bit more. Of it's course, not yeah. essential. Oh, no, I'd, 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 say, fabric, I'd say put it in, definitely. Um, definitely yeah. So I'm going to just stitch these together super quick and just kind of mock the hem, yeah. if, you, if you like. Yeah. And then we can, oh, change my foot. That oh, would yeah. help, wouldn't it? They are handy, these little compartments, aren't they? Yeah, exactly. Like you say, not all, we're not, uh, not all machines well, I are luckily got, made My like machine that. hasn't got any um, gubbing boxes like that one. It is just like the tray like no, that. No, mine's really just got like the that. thing at the front there, the same as yours, yeah. I do like it. Right, so I'm just stitching the right sides together, just sort of mocking up the, uh, the hem of the bag. Right. Super quick. So don't worry about seam allowances or anything like that. 
So obviously, in um, what I would then have done is turned my lining inside the bag. So this yeah. is what it's going to look like now. Right. So I would have given that a press. So now what I'm going to do is do a line of another stitching to give us that kind of margin, that band. So okay. it's almost like when you're making elasticated weights, you're making like the yeah, like a mock channel. casement channel, yeah. aren't you? Even though you're not doing a channel. Going down very quickly. Okay. Now, my suggestion would be in the in the packet, you get how many of these? Ten. Ten. Do you use ten in the project? No, I didn't use ten. Because always practice with one first. Because you've made your bag at this stage, and you don't then want to make a mistake when you put your eyelet in. <laughs> exactly. So I would always practice with that the first. That is a very time. very good point. So um, <clears throat> give it a nice practice first. Um, you'd want to get quite even numbers, so you maybe either do three on the front, three on the back, um, four on the front, four on the back, that's fine. It, I don't think you need any more than that. No, no less than that, no yeah. less than the, the six for the whole thing. Oh, yes, of course, yeah. Um, so you would want to mark out those positions, so it's good to get your water erasable pen, which I think yeah. is down here. So you'd your bag's all made, isn't it? Apart yeah, your from this bag bit. So you, is made. So, so you're going to measure all the way round. And then just divide and it. And divide it by however many, yeah. six or eight, or however many you're doing. Yeah, yeah, so I mean, you could do the cheap method where you get the seams together and fold and just quarterize yeah. it that way. Um, but you just want a kind of even distance, really. So this is where you need to go and grab your kit. So in your packet... So this all that, that all comes in everything here, Everything comes it? in with that. Okay, so brilliant. you have two different types of... Of fixtures, if you like. So this yeah. is just the repeat of what I've got here. Um, so you have what well, I'm going to call the male section. Yeah. Okay, so you can see you've got that little rivet on the top there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you've got the other section there, which just looks like a, a sort of washer almost. Yeah. Okay. Then you also have what you, your little utensil. This is the bits that you need to fuse them together. And they come in the packet. Yeah, those, they, they automatically come in the packet. Yeah, so those are the essential pieces. Yeah. Okay, this one will be going on the bottom and you can see you've got like a kind of rived edged at the very bottom. So yeah. that's going that way down, not right. that way. Yeah. So that way down. And then this one goes on top of that like that. And the reason why you've got that is because you're going to keep your, your hands out of the way because we're going to be banging that section with a hammer. Okay. All right, so make sure you know this is where you want to be holding it. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, once you know your positions of where you're going to put the eyelets, I'm going to take the eyelets. I'm going to take this one. The boy one. The boy one. And I'm going to draw into the centre of the uh, of the ring. So it's just giving me a, a general idea yeah. of where it's going. I've got two, so I'll do two. <gasps> okay. Right. So once you've done that... This is where it's a bit scary because obviously you've made your bag, yes, you've got exactly. a bag right now, and now we're going to go cutting into it. So and this is, is like, well, this is like when you do buttonholes on a blouse and you finish your whole <laughs> yeah. blouse, and if Ooh, one of the buttonholes goes yeah. wrong, that's it. Okay, so I'm going to um, cut across uh, a into my Can we see that? circle. Yeah. Can you see? Perfect. So I've cut across into the circle. Yeah. And then what I'm then going to do is then just sort of square it off. So you're almost cutting a square. Oh, so you take those little triangles off. Yeah, so off. just take the triangles off. Okay. But it's within that mark that we've made with our water erasable pen. Yeah. Okay, so there's, there's the hole. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a hole in the project. Okay, so this is the wrong side, that's the right side. So yeah. taking the male part, yeah. I'm going to place that into the hole. So if you have to stretch the hole a little bit, that's fine. If but you, you, want it, it to, you want it to stretch over, because if the you hole is too big... You don't want to stretch big, too much. No. But, um, so if it's stretching, if you're really having to stretch to get it over, then you need to cut a little bit yeah. more off. Where that's, that's snugly... But you also don't want the hole to be too big. Oh, no. Because you, your eyelet's just going to fall You don't want it to be washing yet. around. Yeah. So always err on the side of, of caution. caution. So yeah. cut it smaller, and then if you need to graduate up, graduate yeah. up. Okay. So that bit's done first. So I'm going to take my the metal part. So remember yeah. the little riveted part. That needs to go the onto, the, onto the bottom. Make sure you've got your mat down, definitely. And that will sit into that fixture. Yeah. Okay, now you've got your eyelet. Now there is a right and a wrong side to these. So this one yeah. is a smooth side. Right. Whereas this one, it actually curls, so I can get my finger in between it. Okay. Okay. So it, let me just check which way I'm going to get myself. 
Yeah. All the instruction on the back yeah. of, on the back of the packet yeah. here anyway. Check, check the packet, check the packet. So the smooth side needs to be facing up. So the bit that you can get your nail under yeah. needs to face down. Right. Okay. So once that's in place, that's when you get your, your little blue gadget, one, yeah. blue gadget, and you're placing that on top. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Da, 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 da. And then you're just going to give it a bang. So you're holding A, you're not holding B, people, A. Yeah. And then you can you can kind of feel that where it needs to have a little bit more so than another. So if you're hammering on the side, then you'll know that you need to come round a bit. Yeah. But you, when you're doing it, you'll you'll feel it. Which what, is why it's important to do a practice one first, really. And once you give it a good hammer in, done. Brilliant. Do you want me to do that one more time? Or you got it? Uh, you do that. You get ready to do that one because I'm going to offer you the eyelets on, on their own because the, the bundles are about to sell out. Bundles are about to sell out. So you want the eyelets on their own. But now, the picture on the top is of a brass ring. It's actually a silver coloured ring, this one. They're the 14 millimetre eyelets and washers, and you get the little gadget to do all, everything that Jennifer's just done. Nine pounds, you don't get the hammer. You have to have your <laughs> designer's own hammer. Did you bring that with you? Oh, no, I didn't. Mine's a little bit more uh, smaller than that. I still it, it doesn't need to be a chunky hammer. No, you're but not, I think you're that's not a leather it's on this. Just it and then just... what, before we go on, also we've got the uh, cord also on its own, which was in the kit, but um, the kit's about to sell out. Prim, natural white bag cord, five pounds and 49 pence. I think it's about two and a half meters, yeah, two and a half meters. Two and a half meters. Okay, right. and all the pattern for this is in the book, remember? All right, super quick then, just to recap. So remember, it's the male one underneath, so this is the wrong side, so you go from the wrong side up. Yeah. You want your fabric to be tightly grabbing that, but not too tight, so make sure yeah. you've got that right. The other part, it's the flatter side, not the one with the ridge. Yeah. So ridge side down. So then you can put your little washer underneath. That sits, that in sits snug, into snugly. It, it, yeah. It's not going to move anywhere. And then again, taking the, the blue bit, make sure you're holding A. So there's a little letter there saying A and B. So I'm holding the A section. B goes in there and then just give it a... Perfect. Okay, so then all you need to do then is then just thread your rope. The little tip about the end of the cord, put your sellotape on it so it doesn't get fat and squedgy and fray. Okay. Uh, can I just say there's only seven of the book left on their own from today's allocation. If you want the book on its own, there's only seven left. Okay. So there you go, there's your Thank little you very much eyelet. indeed. Cool, that was well timed, well timed. Now the second half of this show is going to be not Sashiko, Sashko, cool. right? Now, I've never, ever done it before. And it's a, you see, they say things happen for a reason, don't they? I've not done it. And Jennifer and I worked for ages. And so no. when they heard that Jennifer was going to take over from Joy, because Joy's not very well today, um, they went, oh, let's put some Sashko in. Now, it won't be a full, full-on Sashko. It's going to be a beginner's guide to Sashko, because I've never seen it before. So, oh, Joan's very, very excited about it. So while you get ready, yes. I'm just going to go over there and show them the bundle so that sure. we can just watch you do the Sashko. And then you can explain or what it all means and everything like Brilliant. that. Brilliant. Thank you, Joan, my love. Joan says Hannah's a real nightmare to work with. She must have worked with us somewhere else before. But uh, No, no. Joan said, I'm not, John, you're not aggressive. You're very knowledgeable and you're very funny. So stop winding him up, Hannah. That's what she said. Anyway, now, I know nothing about Sashko apart from you get gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous finished things like this. I also have to warn you that it's incredibly popular. Whenever they do Sashko, whenever it's done here, it's so popular. So please, please, please don't miss out. So I'm going to start with, I'll put that out of the way, uh, this bundle here, did you say? Yeah, right, okay, this is like a beginner's guide to Sashko, right? So I'll, I'll show you, that. so you get a packet of templates, now, I call this carbon paper, but it's actually called charcoal pea. Charcoal pea. Charcoal pea. Uh, we'll get to that anyway. We also get embroidery thread in the white, embroidery thread in the red. We get the, uh, uh, the needles. We get the marker pen, and you get half a metre of dark blue and half a metre of ecru. On the telly, it looks, oh, there, it looks like black there. It's not black. It's the very, very dark navy. Right, now, the templates are here. They're not instructions. They're just drawings, right? Just drawings. There are no instructions, no written word. They're pretty, aren't they? Look. 
Is there another one? Oh, yes, there's another one there. Oh, look! Now, isn't that weird? Look at those, right? And then look at my shirt. How funny is that? I didn't know this was coming up. How funny is that? So that's your beginner's, that's your beginner's uh, kit there. Uh, starter kit, not beginner's, £31.99. But then I've got two other bundles, which I must show you before we go any further. So this one here, which one do you want me to... Yeah, yeah. This one, they're both very, very, very popular, right? This one, what you get is you get the fabric. So you get, I think it's a metre and a half of fabric. I'll just double check. Yeah, metre and a half of the fabric. Now you get templates as well. On the templates, there's two sheets, but on the templates, there's, lot, there's a little fish here, the gourd fish. Then I've got these fish. Then you've got swirls. Then you've got paper boats. And then, in fact, you know, at Blenheim Palace, they had a whole Christmas decoration. The whole of the lake was covered in paper boats like that, all lit up different colours. But then on this side, you've got paper darts. It's upside down, look. I was looking at it from my... And then the clouds and birds. It's all the, the birds. You see, that's that template there, 19 pounds and 49 pence. So you get the metre and a half fabric plus the templates. And then look, 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 look. There's a cloud. There's a, a, a little aeroplane. It's cute, isn't it? Really, and now I need to warn you, it's very, very popular whenever they do such a Then the last bundle here, you get the fabric, you get a metre and a half the fabric, the pink, the black, and the purple. Beautiful. It's called Nature's Friends, this one. And then in the templates of this one, oh, obviously you get an owl, because that's on there. Is it in here, after I've said that? Yes, you do. Look, you get the cat template. You get the butterfly template. And you get the owl template. So there's the bundle there. The bundle, so you get uh, meter and half fabric and the three templates. Now, are we ready? I don't need to take anything with me to it because I need my beginner's guide to Sashko. 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 Right. Oh, off you go then. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. I'm listening. <laughs> I might not say very much in this hour. <laughs> okay, so um, Sashko uh, is an ancient traditional way um, of stitching into clothes. It was actually traditionally used for repairing garments. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is where I hooked onto it because, as you know, I like to do a little bit of upcycling. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and it's a really beautiful way of caring and repairing for your clothes. Um, and then once I started to like dig into the, the meaning and uh, behind the stitches, like every stitch has a meaning. And oh, it's wow. just absolutely fabulous. So depending on the patterns and the images that you're using will purvey um, different stories. So there's um, an image, it's called a, um, a hemp, a hemp leaf image. But that would be a, a gift traditionally given to newborn babies as a protection thing. Oh, so there's lots of, that's honestly, lovely. You, could, you could spend hours reading into the different yes. stitches and, and uh, the history behind it all. Um, and then once it went on from doing the, the repairing side of things, then the design started to get more elaborate and then it was purely done for decorative purposes. Oh, okay. so but originally the, it was all to do with fixing about, your clothes. All fixing and, and repairing your oh, clothes. Oh, how fantastic. That's lovely, isn't it? Because people think, just bung a patch on it, whereas yeah, they thought... they were doing it in... Well, make a story. Yes, oh, that's absolutely. beautiful. And what does Sashko mean? What does that um, mean? So Sashko is basically like, it's like stab stitch, little stitch. So oh, okay. what I love about this, especially because I'm obviously teaching, it's it's such a simple and a, but effective way of repairing your clothes because all you are doing, in essence, is a running stitch. Oh, okay. That is it. So, so... Sashko means little stitch, yeah, so and that's what, stitch, it, yeah. that's what that's what we've got these um, um, uh, uh, ones that you've done here in so the these past. These are your starter. This is your starter. Oh yes, these are the starter templates. Okay, which one do you want? Which one are we just pointing out? This, this one here. I see. So it's like a lovely little stab stitch. But are there? I'll just hold that one up as well because I love the flower in the middle of that one. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, so you got into it because of, the, because of its story, mm -hmm. um, and then obviously you got li little stitch is what it means. But mm -hmm. then, how do we go from knowing the history to history actually to doing, doing this? It? So to, um, traditionally, these images, like for instance this one, which yes. is like the sort of clouds, if yes. you like, or waves, this would all have been worked in a grid. 
They, these are all these are all the templates from these the starter the kit, aren't from they? The yeah, yeah. Right. So this is a traditional one, but this would have been worked into a grid. So like your cutting mat, you would have been stitching into a grid. So the circular shapes that you're seeing, you would be doing that with stitch. It wouldn't be something that you would be copying. Oh, right. So okay. the templates, what we're trying to do for you is take away the maths, if you like. Yes. So you can just get on with creating. So is it a bit like, because original cross-stitching, yeah. I know it's a different art completely, mm -hmm. but traditional cross-stitching was you had your Aida fabric, didn't you? And you went 27 in is blue. So you go in 27 squares. But now we do that where, you, where the colour's already printed on the thing. Yeah, so you yeah, just know yeah. you have to do blue there. Yep. This is sort of, not taking the, taking the essence out, but no. making it more... Accessible. Accessible for somebody like me yeah. to go, oh, I've done my own bit of sash sash coat. Sashko. 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 Yeah, brilliant. Um, so I'm not sure if you have this on, yes, that's on, available the, for on the sale. thing. So this is a, a hera uh, bone. So yes. it would have traditionally been a bone, literally. Yeah, we call it hera marker. A hera, yeah. It's a hera marker, so it's yeah. plastic, so don't worry. So this would be a traditional way of marking your fabric. So obviously you wouldn't necessarily mark out you wouldn't have a template back no, in the day. No, 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 because you'd be marking squares. You'd be out, mar you? marking a grid. So yeah. um, what this does, it, it, it basically creates a shine onto the fabric. So it doesn't matter what colour you're doing. You can see you that. You can tell she's done this before, can't it, you? You've got this shine. Oh, yes. Now, on, does that damage the fabric? No, it doesn't damage the in fact, It just makes it shiny. And then once you put it in the wash or whatever, or just dampen it down, that will, that will come off. Oh, wow. So it's just a temporary way of marking your fabric. Right. Without, um, and but again, this would all be done on a grid, so it's That'd not. That'd be good. I'm just jumping away no. from Sasha a little bit here now. But you know, when you do um, cross hatching and things like that on a piece mm. of fabric, you don't want to draw everything out. You could draw a couple of the lines with that. Yep. Do your stitches. Do a couple more. Do your stitch, and Absolutely, then it doesn't mark yeah. your fabric at all, does so it? You've got the sort of curve shape there to do that, but then you have actually got like a pointed section there, so you could draw around it if you wanted to. Oh wow! So you've got different ways yeah, of yeah, doing yeah. it. So that, that's the traditional way of of marking out your your because you just doing grids in the original because you, just you wouldn't be doing, be doing from a template no no okay. um so but then you can transfer using that if you wanted to okay. but obviously because of your templates you're probably going to end up scratching and, and um, damaging your paper of course, yeah. but that's the traditional way of doing it so we've popped that in there for okay. you but the but, other way is with your chalk copy paper i want to chalk copy paper chalk copy paper, copy paper. Well, it's like carbon paper yeah it's basically carbon paper so this is what we were talking about in my first hour this part of your little uh, your starter kit easily transfer straight over to your dressmaking because right. it's essentially the same thing so it's basically like your uh, receipts paper you know yes. when you have um, yeah like a carbon paper yeah carbon paper so you're going back a bit oh, now you know aren't what you? I mean. um, now it comes in the kit but there's only how many of the kits are left less than 10 of the kit left but maybe you've already got some of the kit that's the kit there right mm -hmm. but if you don't want the kit maybe you've already got that and you want some more chuck copy paper chuck copy paper chuck copy <laughs> I've got this on its own. That's that one on its own there. Four pounds and seventy-five pence. You see now. Also, you could have this for your dressmaking using tracing. If, yeah, if you wanted yeah. to, you could use your tracing wheel on tracing this for dressmaking like and yeah. things like that. Absolutely. But it's called char copy paper. Char copy paper. Okay. Right. So the reason why there's multiple colours in there is obviously not all of your uh, your universal white won't work on everything. No, of so you obviously not, no. got different colours to yeah. suit whatever fabric you're using. So basically what you would do, so when you're getting your template at home, you'd be placing your paper, uh, your paper, sorry, your fabric down. Yes. Now, when you're stitching, I would suggest finishing off your edges. Uh, so whether that's with a, a zigzag stitch on your machine, your overlocker, or the or cheaper pinking. method is your pinking method, because you're going to be handling it. So it's not like embroidery, you're not putting it in a hoop. Right. Okay. Right, okay. So you're right side of the fabric facing you then you take your char copy paper place that down you know which one it is especially with the white one because there's yellow writing so you'll be able to see with the white one it's very difficult oh, like, yes. why isn't oh, it yes, copying yes. It's I you're you're about that. yeah so if you're using the white white, white, white carbon one. there you know the side you've got to have up is the one, is with, the the one with the yellow writing, writing yeah. on which you may or may not see, see on there, screen yeah. okay, okay so make sure you're placing that down and then obviously you'd put your template and then you can draw around it so i'm just going to use this very quickly just so you can see how it's transferring across so you can see I've got my little pink uh, marks there. Right. Yeah. Can you see that on the telly? Might be a bit difficult to see. Hang on, let me just... Yep. You can see that, can you? Right. Uh, now, the pen that uh, Jennifer's using, mm -hmm. it's not in the kit. It's a brilliant... It's a trio. What it is, it's got white lead in it. It's got black lead in it if you want to use it as a pencil for marking out your patterns. Yeah. But then it also has this third one, which is just like a ballpoint... Without Just like a ballpoint bottom. Um, you can use it with carbon. Right, Hannah, what are we saying? Oh, right, you used it apparently the other day when you did it, and it was very, very popular. 
Oh, yeah, it's a fabulous yeah. tool. And again, it cross-references not only from your, your Sasha Co, but also through yes, exactly. dressmaking. So and also, there's only 10 until we get a new yeah. delivery. So uh, when you're make, making your marks, um, depending on the size of the pattern, so for instance, if you're just doing the boat, for instance, on the, um, I forgot what you've called that. Oh, I didn't say what it was called. Origami one. The origami one. Um, the lines are quite small. It's quite a small project, so you can trace that out as per it is. Yes. Where when you're working something bigger, like the cat, for instance, or the owl, that's a big, big transfer. So rather than trying to do the whole line, just go in with short, like, as if you're stitching with yes, your pen, yes, like yes, short, yes. stabby stitches. Like doing Morse, well, like they do on the pattern, yeah. when, when you've got the different size patterns, you can do like a yeah. Morse Cody bit Absolutely. rather than doing so solid just, lines. Absolutely, just do little quick, because you need to apply a, quite a bit of pressure, hence why I've got my cutting mat underneath oh, me. I was going to ask you, because you don't normally have a cutting <laughs> no, mat, No, no, otherwise you're going to be putting your sash go on to your, on your dining room okay. table. So uh, if big projects, I do short start, uh, short movements yeah. with the pen because you want to get that pressure on something small like this you could just go in Do with the, the one thing, line yeah. okay so once you that's how you transfer your images across okay. all right so that's why this is important with your starter okay. kit okay all right. And also we sell it on its own as well if you've already got your starter kit. Yeah. Um, okay. If you wanted to know about the pen, so that's the ballpoint one. Oh, yes. So if, if for whatever reason, when you've done your transfer, you've missed a bit, what I really like about the pen, that's the white lead there. You, just, you get the different ones out by just twisting at the top there. You can yeah. see it says white, black, and then a circle, so I think the, it is for the... That's um, back to the ballpoint. That's the white one. And that's the grey one. And obviously, if you've broken your lead, you can just... Like you would do a pencil. Yeah, like just a, keep, a um, mechanical pencil. Yeah, yeah, mechanical pencil. So if you've missed a bit, you can just go back in with your pen, which is what I love about this, because you've got it in your hand already, yes, rather than exactly. digging through your box oh, for yes, the other yes, one. Oh, yes, yes, good idea. Good so idea. it's a really good one for that. Yeah. Right then, so that's your how you transfer your um, templates, templates across. So right. that's that bit done. So the next bit in your is your needles. So right. your Sashko needles aren't like your normal dressmaking oh, needles. Okay. They're not the same at all. So these will not bend at all. They are super, super sharp and very, very sturdy. Oh, okay. Okay, and it comes in different sizes. Yes. Which I think you've got there. Perfect. Yeah. So it's really important that you do have your different sizes because again, depending on what kind of motif you're stitching, you may need a different size stitch. So, you know, the, the, the basics, the stab stitch doesn't change. It's just that how big the stitches will. Right. Hence why you need your different size needles. So the smaller the needle, obviously the smaller okay, the thread. Okay, that one's got four different sizes in it, four yeah. different types in it, that one. So you get eight needles, four, two of each size, four pounds and 99 pence. So then if it's rice and tiny, why would you need these then? So those ones are going to be for your bigger stitches. So those oh, are the, the, so okay. the, bigger the bigger the needle, the bigger the stitch, the thicker the thread. Yeah. And then obviously the finer the stitch, the finer the thread, the finer the needle. But I noticed they've all got decent sized eyes on the needle. They've all got fantastic though. eyes on. They have got that gold um, so you can see clearly yes. when, you're, when okay. you're threading your needles. Okay. okay. So that's your threads covered and your needles covered. So now it's all about the stitching. So, right. Um, in, in the starter kit, you get a red... Now, a quick question before you go any further. Yep. In the starter kit, mm -hmm. you've got like what I would call normal embroidery thread. Yes. But we also have these threads mm -hmm. as well. What's th so that's your starter kit there with your red and your white, red and your white. thread in it. Now, they're like an embroidery thread, like a six-strand or an eight-strand embroidery that's thread, right, yeah. aren't they? Then I've got these. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the difference between this? These are, are also separately. That's a... I'll show you the gold one first of all. What's the difference between that then and the embroidery thread? These ones, you, well, you'll find them very difficult to separate, so you're not going to be able to go down to your finer stitching. So these are going to be your medium to large style stitch styles. Right. So therefore you'd need your medium to large style needles. needles. Okay, so it comes in gold, 399. 25 metres for 399. Then I've got the paler green one. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it's called. Is it just called green? Oh, light green. Light green. Sorry, we'll quickly do that. It's nice for your shirt, actually, John. Yeah. And then I've got this one, which is the dark green. Yeah. Other colours, when we do Sashko again, other colours will be available. We, it's always so popular. The reds and the whites have sold out at the moment. Well, those would the, they'd be the traditional colours that you would normally oh, stitch with. But right. again, we want to give you that fresh, new, modern So feel, basically, so. we're taking a fabulous old dish tradition. Yeah. These may not necessarily be Sashko designs, but it's making, bringing Sashko into, into the modern those, world. Yeah. I like that, I like that. Right. right, okay, so I'll let okay, you get on. So we've got um, 10 minutes. Have we, okay, right. So <laughs> I'll um, quickly show you the what makes it different to just doing a running That's, stitch. What's, what's, what's the difference? Question, yeah. so, so the first thing you need to do is obviously get your needle and your thread. So I've got, I'm going to go with the medium-sized ones here. 
Okay. Is that your special Sashko purse? That my one, little mate? purse, my yeah. little purse, all my gadgets in. So right. the first thing with your um, your threads is nice and long. So we're not doing embroidery here. So it's not the rule where you go from your wrist to your elbow. Right, That's okay. out of the window. Okay. So it's a nice long thread because you're going to be doing nice long stitches. Right. Um, and then the next one is an embroidery uh, no, Sashko yes, which is a big fat knot in the end. Oh, okay. 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 So the difference between doing a running stitch and um, a sashiko stitch is that with a running stitch, if I just do one here very yeah. quickly, um, you tend to have the stitch and the gap to be the same. Now I'm doing these super big, yes, okay? Yeah. But you can see that they're, they're pretty much quickly very even, okay? So that would be a normal running stitch, yes. something that you do to maybe tack things together. Or, 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 um, or a... Um like hand quilted, hand, when hand you quilt, hand yeah. quilt and thing like that. What size needle have you got in that? It's the medium. Oh, I don't know because I haven't got my pack with me. Oh, it's not the long pack, it's from the other pack, apparently. Yeah, it's not the pack of three, it's out of the, yeah. the so, eight so pack. So it's a longer one out of that pack, is it? Let's have a look. It's the uh, one, it's the longest size. That's it, the biggest It's the size. longest size, but in the small pack. In the small in pack. In the pack of, yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, so yeah. that's a normal running stitch. Yeah, okay. So the difference between that and a Sashiko stitch is that your gap is smaller than your stitch. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Your gap is smaller than your stitch. So I normally go with like a sort of two to one ratio. Yeah. Okay, whether you're doing fine stitches or your big stitches, two to one ratio on yeah. that. Another thing about the needles is you've probably noticed that I'm keeping them, before I pull the thread through, I'm checking my needles, my stitch sizes on the needle. That's why you want a nice long oh, needle. Oh, I see. Okay, so yeah, you yeah. know, just a small one wouldn't mm -hmm. work. You yeah. want a nice long one because when you start to come to things, there's also rules when it comes to junctions. So I'll come, I'll cross that in a second with you. Mm, yeah, so yes. you need to uh, need to check it before you put. Otherwise, it's just a nightmare trying to pull that thread back out. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's start stitching. So I'm going to do this line first. I wouldn't do that normally, but I want to show you the junction part because I right. think that's okay, one of the rules, right. okay? While you see, I need to tell you, there are more people got the starter kit in their baskets than there are in real life. So if you've got that in your basket, it's not guaranteed that you're going to get it. So please, please, please check out. We've only got five minutes left on the show, you see, so we've got to get a, a shifty on. Right. So I'm doing some stitching now. So you can see why it's important that I've finished my edges because I'm really going... In. Oh, so you literally do it, you follow the line, but you do it like you've just shown us, going in, out, in, in out, out, in, out, in, out, in, in, out. out. So that's the first line of stitching done. Right. Okay. And then you come to it. And then you come back. So you can see that I've finished my, so I'm not stitching again now, but I'm starting my next line of stitching into that corner. So I'm going to give it a nice crisp corner. So right. I'm rotating around. I'm going to do another stitch. So with, again, another point with Sashko is you work in, in lines. Right. So you do your sort of diagonal, sorry, your verticals, then your horizontals, then your diagonals. Okay, that was giving me my next question because the, the um, origami one mm -hmm. is hugely popular that already today. We haven't even got to it yet. So um, I was going to, let's have a look at it because you get, you get a meter off the fabric and you get the templates with the birds and the clouds and the fish and the boat on it. I want to know how, what order we would do each of the, I mean, I know we've literally got minutes and I'm rushing okay. you and I shouldn't right. do, but... I'd just like to know on the boat how we would um, do the order, you know, where, which do bit we'd order. stitch. Okay, so before we move on to that... Yeah, one, no, 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 I'll I don't do want to rush you. No, no, it's fine. No. So the, the, one of the keys is you can see where this cloud is coming into the top of that cloud. Yes, yeah. Where those lines meet, you need to leave a gap because none of your stitches should be touching. <gasps> oh, so that's even a, on a junction? Yeah, no, so it's not cross-stitch. So you no. need to make sure that there's separation. Think of like feng shui, like yeah, it's all yeah, about yeah. positioning. Okay, yeah. so when you come to junctions, you need to leave your gap which is why it's really important that when you've got your needle, this is where it, it, the, the key is the needle. Am I in the right position or not before I dedicate that of stitch course, through? Of course, of course. All right, so let's so, move so, on. So if you then, so, so you've left a gap. I just need to do that one. So the junction, so it'd be one there, one, one there, there, and, there and, and one there. there. You've left a gap where the junction is, but then you're going to start that one later on with a knot and go like that yeah. one, the same as you have with that so one. So if I bring in the green, because yeah. we've already done that one, so if this this is where you can tell tail sign. So I could just stitch this any old way, because from the front, it just looks like a running stitch. Yes. The tail tail sign with Sashko, you oh, can wow. see how we're working in linears. So you can see I've got jumps here. So I've worked that line first, come back on my surf work that way, and so on and so forth. You keep I going. I love the pattern. It, it's cool, isn't it? So another little rule here, which we haven't quite covered off yet. Yes. Um, you need to, when you do a jump, you need to leave a bag 
And the reason being, going back to the repair point of view, if these are too, you're not quilting, um, if these are too tight, what's going to happen? Your repair is just going to snap, the threads oh, are going to break. Yes. So this is giving you the ease, like we have in our dressmaking yes, 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 yes. It's easing, so it will move around with the garment and won't snap and your repair will last so longer. So where, where does that come from? Where does that loop bit come from? So if I come back over to Sorry, here, yeah. no, it's fine. So if we, and we've literally only got seconds left. So but. if we come over here, yeah. Following round, the jump would be from here to that one because I'm doing the first line of my clouds. Oh, right, okay. okay. Then I would jump and right. then do that one. Oh, so you don't need to start a new... That's why you have your long thread. Yes. So you don't do that finish and then do that finish. Yeah, yeah. So you do that one, then you jump, jump across the back but leave a big bag. Leave a bag. And then do Work that one. Jump, leave jump, a big bag. bag oh, over. wow. But then that from here to here is too big a jump. So you would cast off, if you like, and you would start again there with a fresh yes. knot and then carry yeah. on. So that's Perfect. that's the telltale signs between the front and the back. That's Sashko, whereas you could just run and stitch Yes, these, exactly. All right? Oh, so, no, that's fascinating. We, I need to, right, um, when, we, when we finish, we're going to leave a note for Wendy to say, I want to do a whole hour of this with you. <laughs> okay. Right. Right, so the boat... Starter kit's going off the graphics because we sold out. Too many of you got it in the basket. You can still, if you've got it in your basket, you've still got a chance of getting it, but more people have got it in their basket than we've actually got. Right. Right. So with this, it's, there's only so much you can do because obviously you're not working in lines. So just think about the pattern. So my eye is directly going, right, let's go straight into that corner first. Yes. And again, using my stitch, I'm going to go... Oh, you're going up? I'm going to go up. So this is where you want to watch it. So now you can see I'm coming into there. There's a junction, so I'm leaving the gap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carry on through. Junction, leave yeah. the gap. So just watch your space. So it's, you've got to think about, when you first start, you've really got to think about, you can't just sit there watching the telly doing stitches because you've got to remember where every junction is yeah. to leave a gap at every junction. I mean, obviously, once you get more um, confident with it, then you can just oh, go yes. for yes, it. Yes, I mean, of course. For me, I'm not happy with that. My stitches are uneven, but I'm rushing. Yes, okay, so obviously you take your time with that. Okay, so, so once got, I've gone, gone down, top, yeah. what I'm going to do, rather than go there and get stuck, I'm going to make it a fluid movement by going um, down. So again, making sure that my stitches leave a gap. Don't touch. Yeah. Sorry, was that aggressive? So don't, right, so look for the fluidity as well then. Yeah, look for the fluidity, that's what you want. So straight into the corner. So let me go there. So I'm ready now to start my next line. So that's that bit done. Yeah. So then even though that's not that much of a jump, that's a really big two bag. Yes, that's too big of a bag, that one. But you do want to give it a little bit, okay? Yeah. So you can see that's pulling. So yeah. Just, there you go. <gasps> Brilliant. All right. Yeah. So now I'm going to work the other way. So I'm going to work back up to the other corner. Oh, okay. So I'm going to make these really big just so we can get there. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, okay so, so again, watch the junction. junction. Oh. Watch your junction. Yeah. And I can see also why you have to finish the fabric off, because you are being, not aggressive with the fabric, but you are, yeah. it's being um, manipulated quite a, a lot, lot, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. Again, please excuse my stitch sizes now, because I am rushing. No, that's fine. Okay. So then what I would then do to finish that off is go all the way down. And I'm going to do that very quickly to show you how to cast off. Yeah, of course. And then once you've got that, you'll get to That's go. good, because that'll time perfectly with the end of the show is carpeting off. Uh, please check out your baskets. The origami one is incredibly popular. Here it is. I'll just show it to you quickly. There it is. So you get three half metres of fabric, a blue, a dark blue, a mid blue and a white. You get the two templates with fishes and boats and clouds and birds and everything on. That's £19.49. And... £49. and Nature's Friend, the one going across the bottom, that's the one with the pink, the purple, and the black. And then you get the two templates, the three templates of the owl, the cat, and the butterfly. Okay, sorry, Jennifer. And then Can't you've got stop. the pea green boat. Yes. Okay, so I've, you can see I've gone all the way around. I've got my little bags in the corners there, so I've got the E stitch yeah. in. So I'm going to cast off now. So that's where my knot is. It's going that way. So I'm going to go back on myself to the last stitch. Right. I'm going to take my needle through the back of that stitch so it's not in the material. Yeah, it's just through the under stitch. the stitch. Ooh. Oops. Okay, so you're going to create a loop. Yeah. So I want to take my needle through that loop. So this is where you need to make sure you're holding your, your thread down because you don't want what I'm yeah. going to do now is start affecting my stitches. So press down and then just move it forward and back to create like a slip knot. So that's yeah. one. And then what I would then do is repeat that, create the loop, go back on itself. Again, hold the pressure on the stitch, forward, back, forward, back. And then you can then trim off. Wow. 
Right, I'm going to go off and do something. Well, not, I've got another hour to do. I thought I was going home. We're done. Jennifer, thank you You're so welcome. much. Mm. And I promise we'll do an hour of this, a proper hour of yes. this very soon. We'll um, get our diaries together. And thank you so much for coming in at no, short notice welcome. to cover for, for Joy. It's a joy yeah, to well see soon. you. Oh, she, she's got a oh, look at this infection. Um, we're going for a break. We're going for a break. After the break, I've got workroom accessories, quilting accessories, or quilt should go, all sorts of things like that. <laughs> um, I'm just going to take a breather and learn some more about this. Ooh. I'll see you in three minutes from now. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. Don't miss Jo Carter at 8am on Wednesday as she sews this Club Night Quilt by Devon Levine. Taken from Devon's book Quilt Traditions, this traditional quilt is made with half square triangles and scrappy stars, with 50 blocks in total. And Jo will help you master quilting with curves for a stunning finish. Jo uses vintage style fabrics from the Quilters Guild Devon County Fabrics collection, as well as the gorgeous florals of the Drawing Room Blooms range from Lewis and Irene. So join us on Wednesday the 17th of January at 8am for this inspirational new show, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Hi, I'm Paul Clark, and here are my three top tips for dressmaking. My first top tip is the way I pin fabric. I always pin parallel to the edge of the fabric, so it gives me a visible sewing line when I'm stitching. My second top tip is pinning a garment together and then trying it on before you do actually do any sewing. That way you can make sure if there's any fit adjustments you need to make. My third top tip is when sewing a curve, such as an, an underarm seam, Sew it first, then trim it as close as you can to that original sewing, and it will stop any puckering underneath the arms. As soon as you place an order with us, we get to work on making your shopping experience that extra bit special. Our warehouse team pick your items and cut your fabric with the greatest care and precision. Cut fabric is neatly folded and packed in a tissue paper lined presentation box. And when we're satisfied that it's just perfect, it gets the sewing quarter seal of approval. So whether you're giving a gift or treating yourself, you can shop with confidence, knowing your sewing quarter purchases will arrive in style. We have some exciting news to share with you this Sunday. So join me, John Scott, for a special Facebook Live broadcast. At 12.30pm on Sunday, I will share our secret announcement. So don't miss it. Head to our Sewing Quarter Facebook page to be the first to find out. Be sure to like our Facebook page and watch my special live show on Sunday, the 14th of January at 12.30pm. moved all those tellies. All the tellies are moved in the break, haven't they? Anyway, last hour, last hour, um, day three of six stuff. So we've got three more days to do after today. And then I've got well, two days off, then I'm in for four days, and I've got two days off, then I'm in for four days, and it's February. I know. And then Tula Pink comes. Tula Pink's coming on the um, 7th of February, isn't she? Well, she will be here at Sewing Quarter. So many things to tell you. Right, first of all, birthday. On the 31st of January, it is our birthday. We're one year old. And part of the week, we're having a week long of celebrations left. Oh, does that mean we're a week of cakes? I wonder if it means we get a week of cakes. Anyway, I doubt it. Um, so part of that celebration is we're going to do the birthday block bonanza. What we're asking you to do, if you want to, is to enter a competition. Um, design and make a block. 12 inches finished, but don't finish it. So make it 12 and a half inches so that when we sew them all together to make a quilt out of them all, uh, they will end up as 12 inch blocks. It can be patchwork, it can be embroidery, it can be painted, it can be, uh, I've said embroidery, uh, English paper piecing, foundation piecing, applique, what else could it be? Anything, anything you want really, as long as it works in a, as a 12 inch block. Um, the address to send it to are on the terms and conditions. The terms and conditions are found on the front page of the website. Go right down to the bottom page, click on terms and conditions, they do have to be in by the 20th, and it's the 14th today. So you've only got six days to get them in. 
six days to get them here. So please make sure you won't get them back because they will be made into a quilt. And there will be three or four, I don't know if it's three or four, we can tell you on terms of conditions, uh, winners. There's a, um, not a gang, I keep saying a gang of people. There's a panel of judges who are gonna choose their favorite three or four. And those people will get a prize of a bundle of fabric for, for your trouble. Uh, but you don't get them back. That's the important thing to remember. And it has to be in by the 20th. Uh, now, very important. I had that shirt on yesterday as well, didn't I? And that's a year ago. Well, that'll be the birthday. That's the first day we launched. Did I wear that shirt to launch the show then, obviously? Anyway, apparently I've got different hair. I've got uh, lower down hair now than I had there. I haven't had a Jason Gardner or anything. And I've lost weight, I think, because I love nice since last year. Anyway, tomorrow, then don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. We're not going off Freeview. We're staying on Freeview. We're staying on, um, I was going to say, voucher then. That's something completely different, isn't it? We're staying on YouTube and we're staying on the website. But we're also going to be on Sky 6, 7, 8 from 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Um, so tell your friends. Uh, I'm telling you because you're my Freeview friends, I think. Uh, and I'm going to announce it to Facebook at half past 12 today on my Facebook Live. The Facebook Live today, if you do tune in, will be a very, very quick one. There's no fabrics or anything like that. It's just me announcing that we're going to be on Sky from tomorrow. Uh, but I've told you first. So I'll see you there. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning. But don't go anywhere now because I've got an hour of... I'm sure there was something... Was there something else I had to tell him? No? All right, let's get on with this hour then. Uh, everything you need uh, quilting-wise. I've got... I've got... Uh, Oh, all sorts over there. I've got a quilt you go, I've got iron, I've got fabric, I've got a book. Have I got what? I've got this bundle. Is this a bundle? This is a bundle. You get all three of these in the bundle for £54.49. I'll just go through it for you, shall I? Here we go. So we've got the cutting board. So easy cutting mat. Inches on one side. Centimetres on the other side. It measures... Ooh, uh, I can't read it out my glasses. 24 by 18. 24 by 18 inches it is. So you get the cutting mat. You get the so easy ruler. Big ruler. This is the size that all the designers say start with, isn't it, this one? And the rotary cutter that all of our designers use uh, for quilting mainly, and uh, Amanda uses it for dressmaking, the 45 miller miller. 45, it's time to go home. 45 millimeter rotary cutter, 54 pounds uh, for all three. All, yeah, all three of those for 54 pounds and 49 pence. Brilliant. That's, uh, all, you know, like if you're just setting off, you're just starting off. Brilliant. And a nice size cutting mat. It's not the biggest cutting mat, but a nice size cutting mat, especially if you're working on your dining room table or anything like that. You get all the instructions with the cut, oh, cutting mat and the ruler and obviously the rotary cutter there. Fantastic. Right. No, you didn't turn it off. Hannah just had a sneeze. She's supposed to touch her button to switch off. She forgot to touch the button, switched off. Oh, she pushed the wrong button down. Um. Da, 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 Right, hang on, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, it's too... I'll just make a bit of space here. Right, how to quilt book. We had this book the other day, it's brilliant. It's very, very, very popular. How to quilt by Rachel Reynolds, seven pounds and 99 pence. Uh, have a look inside. It's lovely. I love it. The fact that the fa the the pages here look like they've got they're made of linen. It's only a photograph, but they make they look love, made of love. It's just lovely. So how to quilt. Introduction. Then before you start, everything you need: haberdashery, basic tools and equipment. This is ideal for a go-to or a starting off. Materials that you can use. Basic rules for patchwork. Other materials you might need. Uh, there's that thread we just had, look. Sewing basics. Machine stitch basics. Quilting basics. All, everything you need to know. I just think it's so brilliantly described. Techniques and projects. This is where we start. So, English paper piecing. 
So it tells you all about what English paper piecing is, how to do it, and then there's a project to make out of your English paper piecing lavender keepsake. That's cute, isn't it? My friend Dulcie makes lavender bags. Um, anyway, then we move on. I love this. I love this. That's the, the throw, but it's like the raw edge throw, isn't it? And then look at all the details. Look how detailed every single hand-tied quilting. Now, um, uh, Joy likes that, tie quilting. For ages, there it is, you see. For ages, I thought it was tie quilting as in, done in Thailand, not just tying a knot. Uh, anyway, that's a tea cosy. Who has... Oh, who has a tea cosy these days, right? Who has a... I love seeing teapot. I don't drink tea. I don't drink tea. But when I go out with my friend Sarah for a cup of tea and we go to this lovely little um, tea house in Richmond um, and they always bring the teapots with little tea cosies on everything. Duffel bag. Oh, no, isn't that funny? If I'd written duffel, I wouldn't have spelt it like that. No, you would have done because you'd have had a G at the beginning if you'd done it. But that's like a duffel bag, that one, isn't it? Not a duffel. Duffel bag, that one. I like that. That's almost like your, um, that shape of it is like your Tinder um, thing, isn't it? With all your wood in by the fire. Simple quilt block. Timble mat, a timble. <laughs> can't read, help. Table mat, table mat. That's cute, isn't it? And then we've got here that, oh now, speed piecing. That's like chain, that's like chain piecing, I presume, is it? And then we've got the pin board to make out of that. Then we've got the London stairs quilt uh, block, play mat using the London squares. Look, see how many projects, especially when you're first starting. Now, I wouldn't, I wouldn't try that when you're first starting, but it's gorgeous. The whole cloth quilts are beautiful, aren't they? Then we've got the, a cushion. Now, that's a bit like uh, Mandy Shaw's red work, that, isn't it? Look, machine quilting using a plique. Uh, table runner, using lovely leaf pattern there. If little Paul was here, he'd say that's unbelievable, John. Uh, Mr. Page. Oh, oh, come on, John, one job. There you go, mitered corner, that's very important, isn't it, mitered corner. Then we've got a bed cover, that's when we're getting more, um, you know, confident. And then look, you've got all your, tem all your templates that you need in there for all your flowers. It's beautiful book, and all that for 7 99 Seven pounds and 99 pence. Fabulous, darling. I've got another book. Shall I do the other book later? Freezer paper. Now, in prep, you said it was a different freezer paper, but this is the same freezer paper that I've always had. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's the same freezer paper. Apparently, on the website, the picture of the packaging looks different. It's still the same thing, but your, when yours arrives, your, your box might look different to that. Freezer paper is brilliant. It's just like greaseproof paper, but it's got a plastic coating on one side. Can you see there? There's a bit of a sheen on one side and it's matte on the other. It's not glue. It's not glue, but it's fantastic. I'll tell you what, Mandy Shaw used this a lot when she... Um, well, I, I can only talk about Christmas. She's a gingerbread man. She draws it onto that. Then she actually stitches through this into the... Because if you iron this onto fabric, right, using the, the uh, shiny side, it doesn't glue to it, but it kind of ad adheres to it. Um, doesn't leave any kind of um, residue or anything like that because you can take it off afterwards. But what she does is she uh, draws it on, she irons it to a piece of fabric, she puts the two pieces of fabric together, she machine round, machines round on the lines, then she put the... So when you've stitched it, it creates a serrated edge. You just peel it off and... Um, it's just brilliant. It's at, but you can use it for lots and lots of other things. You can use it for putting your meat in the fridge, it says. You can use it for putting on the table when you're doing crafts and uh, like a tablecloth. Uh, you can use it to wrap your sandwiches in. When I was little, my mum used to wrap my biscuits for my um, tuck break at school when I was at primary school in it. Uh, lots and lots. It says on here somewhere all the different things you can use it for. So it's good for crafting. It's good for a plique. It's good for all sorts of things. Wrapping a parcel looks is very sturdy. Uh, you get 12 metres in there for four pounds and 99 pence. The only thing I'll say is please watch this serrated edge here because it's very, very sharp and I did slice myself on it one day. 4.99. Everybody loves freezer paper because it's just so versatile. 
Okay? Good. Oh, now, if you like the ruler that we had in that um, bundle there, we have a choice. We have greater grids, but this one's from so easy. It's laser cut. Now, um, what you get here, it's all in inches. There's no metric on here. It's all in inches, which, uh, which um, quilting ladies or, and gentlemen seem to work in inches rather than centimetres. It's 24 by six and a half inches. Uh, you've got the inch uh, line increments in the red all the way over the ruler. You've got the 60, the 45 degrees, and the 30 degree angle on there. I don't know if you can see that. They're down there as well. I haven't got a piece of fabric to put behind. This one's obviously been used. This isn't one on you'll be getting. Yours will be all wrapped and everything. And it's an ideal um, one to start with, 15 pounds and 99 pence. Now, the reason, the reason this one's good is because most fabrics are 44 inches wide, aren't they? So you could fold your fabric in half. I haven't got a fabric to show. Fold your fabric in half, and you can just slice across the whole width of the fabric straight away. 15 99 OK, this one, I'll just, I'll just tell you, this one doesn't have the resin on it. The one that Creative Grass, grass Creative Grids have the resin circles on it. This one doesn't have that one. But just be careful it doesn't slip while you use it. So easy. Quilt and sew ruler for an accurate and smooth finish. Rotary cutter, right, let me get my mat. Can I do the mats first? Then they're out, then I can show the rotary cutter on top of the mat, can't I? I'll do the big one first, shall I? Ninety by sixty centimeters, extra large, thirty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Uh, oh, it's both oh, ow, 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 ow. ow, that really hurt. Right. So easy it didn't really. I'm fine, I just caught my lip on my tooth. Um no extra postage. I'll turn it around that way because Hannah was saying it was upside down. She meant, oh no, it's different on both sides. That's right. Yeah. So you get inch, centimetres on one side, inches on the other side. So basically, if you like that way down, there you see cutting mat. That's the inch. It's got measurements on there. It's got the angles on there. Self healing mat. Don't put your iron on it, as we say with all cutting mats. So inches on that side. And then you've got the centimetres on that side. Uh, nice big, nice big cutting mat to have on your, on your cutting table. This one's really good because imagine if you have your block in the middle there, you've got plenty of room and everything to do your cutting. In fact, look, if you put the ruler on there that I've just had, you see what I mean? You can get your, fold your fabric completely in half and you can get across there, you get across the whole thing. Brilliant. 39 pounds and 99 pence. Then I've got the other cutting mat in this show which if you don't need such a big space, it's absolutely identical, just a, diff a different size. This one, that one was 90 by 60. I think all of us need a wipe, don't they really? These are all the ones we use all the time in here. This one's 60 by 45, again, it's self-healing. Again, it's by so easy. Again, it's got inches on one side and centimetres on the other. It's got all the angles you need on there, the 60 and the 30 and the 45 degree and the 90. This is the size that we normally have on the desk, isn't it, for most of our uh, quilting uh, experts. 23 pounds and 99 pence. Is it now, is, is it? Oh, the pink one, the pink one's the same size as this, isn't it, yeah? Yeah, this is my joke. 23 pounds and 99 pence for that cutting board. Right, while that's out, let me turn it over. I'll show you the rotary cutter as well. Now, I haven't got any fabric to um, cut with it, so I, could, I can just show you how it works. So, this is the rotary cutter that Joy asked us to get in right at the beginning. When Joy first started, she was like, I want this rotary cutter, I want this rotary cutter. So we got this rotary cutter in for her. This is the one that Hannah's got now. Is it out of its packet yet? So, it's a 45 millimetre blade. But what I love about this is, look, it's completely locked. That blade is locked away and there's nothing, it won't move, it won't move, it won't move, because you've got a, a, um, a locking system here, right? So once you press that red button there, you've then released, now you've released the locking system, but you still haven't released the blade. The blade is still ensconced in its case down there. It's only when you press the handle that the blade is engaged. Now, what is brilliant about this, if you happen to drop this, as soon as you let go of that handle, 
the blade bounces back into its, um, where it's supposed to live sort of thing. So you've got that safety element. Let me just lock it back up again. Oops, lock it back up again. What you've got is you've got soft grip on the handles here. You've also got a um, ridged uh, top here because Joy, when she uses it, I'm just going to show you this way around. When she uses it, she puts her finger there for stability. So when she, because you need to press with, not huge force, but you need to press with some force. Obviously, I'm not cutting now because I've got the blade out, but she, she puts her finger there and she says, if you don't put your finger there, you've got the tendency to, to wobble a bit. Put your finger there, gives you that lovely stability. Now, if you are right-handed, you can use this. And if you're left-handed, you can use this. You can turn it round, you can unscrew this. You don't need to touch the blade. Turn it all round to put the blade on that side. So if you're left-handed, they can use it that oh, wrong way. You can use it as a left-handed one as well. It's brilliant, isn't it? Uh, how much is it? £24.99 and 99 pence? It's 45 millimetres now. Most of our guests do use a 45 millimetre rotor cutter. It's the most popular. When they come in, we say, what size do you need? Could we use 60, 45, 28, 18? 45 is the most popular size. Okay, now I'm going to move that out of the way. Now this, I'm surprised we've still got this. This is Tilda. Pardon? Sold out. I, I thought it was a bit weird when I saw it come on the table and I thought, I'm sure we've sold out of those. Anyway, sorry about that. This is gorgeous. This is completely gorgeous. Now, what Moda did was they gave, they, they got their designers, their, their favorite designers, and they said, here is our complete range of, of solid colors. Why don't you choose a range of colors that you love or would go with what you do and things like that? So all of the designers had free range of everything in the, solid, uh, in the solid colors from Moda. So each of them, now a lot of them are very similar because a lot of them have gone for the same colors. This is lovely, this one's called Sweetwater. Uh, you get 12 fat quarters in there. They're 22 by 18 inches. They're American, so they're taken from a yard. So these are uh, basically a fat quarter, I'll just explain to you. If you're in Europe, they take a meter and they cut it down the middle like that and across the middle like that. So you get four parts of the meter. In America, because they're still imperial, they take a yard and they cut it like that and they like that. So if you get a fat quarter from America, it's always slightly smaller than a European fat quarter. Um, but look, you get 12 gorgeous colors. Look at these. Ranging from the black through to the gray, to the pale blue, navy blue, dark coral, pistachio, uh, pumpkin, yellow, sky blue, red, and white. 39 pounds and 99 pence for 12. For 12. Now, you normally expect a fat quarter to be about four pounds each, wouldn't you? That's not, is it? That's a lot less than four pounds each. 39 pounds. And 99 pence. There you go, £3.33. Re reoccurring. Moda, sweet water, fat quarter bun. Lovely cotton, really, really. This is, the, this is the, um, the, the fat quarter cotton that Jane made her rainbow. Do you remember she did the one with the um, flying geese going down? It's starting off with one colour, working, well, she went red, orange, yellow, green, blue, like that. Um, it's very, very good quality. Lovely to quilt with. That's the size of your fat quarter there. 22 by 18 inches. Really good quality. Now, we did, I have to say, yesterday when we were looking at designer fabric, because this comes from America, you see, if you were to order it from America, there's all sorts of shipping and tax and everything like that. It's all sorted for you. You pay one PMP from here, so you buy it for 39.99, you pay one PMP for two pounds and 95 pence. Straight to you, straight to you, direct. Right. Now, my desire, oh, jelly roll quilts in a weekend. This is uh, patchwork. Pam, isn't it? This one and her daughter, yeah. Uh, Pam Lintot and her daughter, Nikki. They're a <clears throat> famous um, mother and daughter team who have a shop set somewhere in um, like Cornwall or somewhere like that. It's, is it in Cornwall? And it's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And she's the one who does the weekend toughin. Fiddle on this muffet. Toughit, not toughin, toughit weekends. 
but they make the most beautiful quilts between them. Look at these, look at them. Look. These are all made from a design roll. Or from design rolls. Oh, that's nice. Aren't they lovely? Look at the, uh, the how, oh look, called Scarlet Steps, but there's no point, you, have to, you don't have to make it in red. You could make what? Sunshine Steps, or you could do, I don't know, Sky Blue set. no, some yellow would be Sunshine. Now I was going to blue, I was thinking what blue could be called, but Sky Steps, you know what I mean? Oh, talk about Sky, we're going on it from tomorrow morning, eight o'clock. Spring, I didn't mean to do that, but there you go. Springtime in Paris. Aren't they beautiful? Look at these gorgeous. Now, obviously, you make those by sewing your three strips together, and then you create each little block with the three strips of the, of the, of the design roll, jelly roll sewn together. It's such a lovely book. They're so, these are gorgeous gifts, aren't they? £15.99. Get one for yourself. Norwegian wood. Get one for yourself. Well, no, only because I used to spend all this time in Norway, didn't I? Picnic time. That's a nice. Oh, that's nice. But have we got this here? Uh, I missed that. Pam was in, apparently, with lots of her quilts. Uh, no, no, she came in when I first met her here. She came in right at the beginning. She friends of Rachel the Rulers. Oh, Tutti Frutti. It's nice, isn't it? That's a gorgeous one. Is that made out of, oh yes it is, look. Design rolls. They're all made out of design rolls or jelly rolls. Nine patch sunburst. Oh, I love that one. Yeah, that wouldn't last two minutes in your ass. It'd be filthy within a week. Sprockets. That's more you, sprocket. Don't know what sprocket means. Just a nice word, isn't it? That sounds, well, it sounds a bit like roboty or electrical, doesn't it, sprocket? Oh, I like the fact that one there's got no, sp whatever they're called. But it's got white, but you know what I mean? You can't see the sprockets or the teeth or whatever they are. I don't, what is a sprocket? Do you know what a sprocket is? Circle of friends. Oh, look, they're friendship stars. That's nice. No, oh, look. No, because you're doing half square triangles, look. So use the design roll to do a two and a half inch square, in, um, two inch, oh, you know what I'm trying to say. Half square try, oh look. Oh, I think that could look gorgeous, couldn't it? Right, right, let me go to the friendship style one. I need some, I'll tell you what, I, I know what I'll do. I'm, I'm gonna make it very, life very difficult now for, for Hannah because I'm gonna show you the Heather, Heather Bait. The Heather Bailey um, design roll, which we love. We love this. Oh, we're very, very limited. Now, you see, we need to design. Has a designer worked with this one? There's a quilt, isn't there? Oh, I can go and get it. I, can I go and get it? How, you keep looking at that for £52.99. You keep looking at that. What's the matter? Right, before I get the fabrics out, look, this quilt is made, apart from the square in the middle, this quilt is made with the design roll I'm just about to show you. Isn't it lovely? Maybe I should have had that up hanging up behind me, but never mind. <laughs> I, think it's, I think Hannah's had enough of today. Oh, go then. Because I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about this design roll for quite a while, aren't I? Right, so this is the Heather Bailey, true colours. Now, obviously, you don't get this quilt. This quilt is made from the design roll, apart from the centre, apart from the centre square there. But look at the way the colours all work beautifully together. I like the way as well, they're not frightened to do, you see here, there's two um, dog tooth, red and white together. Oh, and there. I like that. And I like the way it's all done in little sections and everything. So let me take you through the 40 piece uh, design roll now. Because these are all in, 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 in there, right? These are gorgeous. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is just show you the different designs. So you get dog tooth, you get circles and squares, you get cactus, 
We called it cactus. It's not, I don't think that's what um, Heather Bailey calls it. But look, so you get cactus in blue, cactus in green, cactus in red. Oops. And these are all two, if you don't know, a design roll, oh, they're all two and a half inches in width and um, the width of the fabric. So they're usually 42 to 44 inches long, but they're always two and a half inches wide. Just, oh, love, 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 love the colours. It's just, what does it, she called it true colours, and that's exactly what it is, really. The colours are vibrant and pure and clean. There's no dirty, you know, sometimes when they, designers mix a colour, it's sometimes a bit dirty and grubby. Nothing like that with this one. Um, and that one goes there. That one goes there. I love these, because there's so many. And if you saw all these fabrics together, you wouldn't necessarily think, oh, I'll put all those together. But they work so beautifully. So you get 40. So most of them you get two. I think it's you get two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 18, 19, 20, 20. Oh, so, uh, so it's, oh, OK. Some of them you must just get, oh, yeah, there you go. And you get one. Oh, no, that's a pink one there. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right, right. You get 40, two of each. You get two of each colour. So you get two of that, 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 two of that. But they're lovely, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. So we have what we call, well, Timothy calls them the coffee bean there at the top here. These are what we call the coffee bean. Then we've got the geometric chevrons. Then we've got what we call the cactus. Then we've got the, the circles and the squares, and then we've got the dog too. So you get two of each of those, two, two pieces of each of those, 40 pieces for 52 pounds and 99 pence. Now, how gorgeous are they? And then imagine that in this pattern. Imagine using those. Obviously, you'd need to get a background color as well. So they're all made of the, the design roll there. But then you'd need to get your, um, like a white or, well, yeah, I, I might not go for white. Do you see, I quite like, I well, no, quite controversially, I might go for the dark blue. Hannah will go for white, but I'm just showing you here, because none of the backgrounds of these fabric are white, you see. That's, that's the reason I go with the blue. You see, look there, I'd go with the blue, only because... Uh, well, I, I understand, Hannah White, if you wanted to go for white, Hannah, I'd go for like optical white, uh, not optical, antique white, if you wanted to go for, or, or the, not ecru, but the next one down from ecru, something like that, just the creamy, or vanilla would be nice. Vanilla would be gorgeous. I mean, white would work, white would work, but none of these have got pure white in the background, that's all. Beautiful, that makes So the book's there, in the 15.99, and the design roll, 40 piece, 50, uh, there, 52 pounds and 99 pence. Okay, the design role, I've now got single figures now. Single figures. Well, no, what I was thinking, Hannah, was imagine if one of those went missing. Then it's not a full jelly roll, then, to a full design role, is it? Well, you know, not a full design role now, is it, Hannah? Nah, nobody be watching. <laughs> Oh, you know, I said I had no fabric. Paul's put his spare fabric stash back underneath here. Little Paul has this thing about he wants spare fabric on, so he's got spare fabric there. Anyway, that is such a gorgeous, there it is, design roll. I just mentioned it. Oh, you went here, you went here, you went here, you went here. Uh, we are on Sky from tomorrow morning. Uh, from 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. We're not going off Freeview. Lots of people are messaging going, oh, no, I want to watch you if you're going on Sky. I haven't got Sky. I've only got Freeview. We're staying on Freeview. We're staying on YouTube. We're staying on our internet. But we're also going to be on Sky from tomorrow. So, so tomorrow, uh, it's still for the same four hours, exactly the same four hours. Eventually, we will be going longer hours as well, on both Freeview and on Sky. But just for now, we're just going on Sky, which means, you see how busy it is sometimes here. Imagine how busy it's going to be when you've got twice as many people. Well, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if pe more people have got Sky than got Freeview. I don't know. But you know what I mean? It could be twice as many people. Could be more than that. Could be more, couldn't it? Anyway, that's from 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. And I'll be here. I don't know, day four of six. Well, that's not very good, is it? The people from Sky watching for the first time, I'll be like, oh, I'm a bit tired. OK, Anna, would you like to carry on and finish the show? Next time you want a comfort break in the middle of the show, I shall say no. What's now, 
I know, the thing is, right, every time I bring this out, because everybody knows, oh, it's, and it's full of water as well. Every time I have this, oh, it is completely full of water. Uh, full of water. Um, every time we do this, let me just get some of Paul's scrap fabric. There you go. No, I'm right, I've got Paul's scrap fabric here. Um, Every time I show you this iron, it sells, it sells, it sells. People love it. People absolutely love it. Um, in fact, I'm going to... Uh, I've got it on my list. Oh, no, oh, I can't tell you. I can't tell you. It's got on, my, it's on one of my special lists, but I can't tell you what it is. Um, it's gorgeous. 39.99. Let me just turn it around for you. In here, that is a... Oh, no. In here, that's a rubber stopper. I'm not going to open it because it's full of water. That's where you put the water in. That's the guide there, how much water you can see. Look. You've then got here... You've got uh, steam on, steam off. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? Has it gone on? Yep. Because we could do steam for you. Yeah, look, the little light comes on when you know it's plugged in. It'll go off in a minute, I think, when it gets hot enough. Um, so you've got steam on, steam off. You've got your, your temperature guide there. You've also got... I'm not going to put it on because I can't play with it. Put it on. Um, you've also got a, a wire clip there. You've also got a wire clip there because you've got a super long wire. Look. On such a lovely line. Now, Jo Carter loves this because she hates moving much. So in her workroom, she can just reach across and get the iron, get the sewing machine, get the, the biscuits, get you know, all that sort of thing. Um, it's got steam. It's got very powerful steam as well uh, from the four little holes there. And what a lot of ladies have said is really good if you've got dexterity issues. It's not on, it's not on, it's not on. Look, it hasn't got hot. It hasn't got hot. It's not on, it's not on. It's not on. Just so you know. I, I switched it off, look. I, I switched it off. So it's not on. Don't worry, it's not on. It's not on. You'd know it's on because the little red light's gone off. Because I wanted to be able to do this, you see. That's why I switched it off. It's not hot. It's not hot. Don't worry. 39 pounds and 99 pence. I'm going to put it away now, though. It's been on too many times. I love that little iron. Pardon? Have I got this in the packet, please? These, look up here, right? Don't, you see them on our set every single day. You see them on our set every single day. Well, you normally, if I bob down, you might see them. He's got them, he's got them. So we use those to display our quilts here on the set, right? They're brilliant. The way they work is brilliant. This is how they look when they arrive. Prim, natural, coloured quilt hangers. Uh, we've pinned ours in the corner only because um, where, the, the pin, yeah, where the pins are, we can't put them. I don't know what you're saying. Anyway, £10.99, these are. Two, you get two, you get two, you get two. All right, all right, hang on. Right, she's going on and on and on. Somebody said they can see a pin on the wall. The reason we got pin on the wall, this is Hannah muttering down my earpiece, right? Because, you see, every day we have a different size quilt. If you had this quilt in your house, you'd have your wooden ones here. But sometimes we have a quilt that's this wide. Sometimes we have a quilt that's this wide, don't we? So we fix those there. Otherwise, we'd have to have screws all the way along the top of the quilt like that, right? But we've just got the two in there, which is why the corners are, are pinned. Right, moving on. This is how they arrive. £10.99. Now, the way they work is you look inside here. You can see a ball bearing, like a marble in there, can't you? What you do is you feed the quilt inside there, because you you've got the, the holes at the back, so you put the screws in the wall exactly where you want them. Then what you do is you feed the quilt into there, and then as it drops down, the weight of it is then held by the ball bearing or the marble inside each of those. Now, uh, Hannah and little Paul are going to paint theirs when they put theirs up. They're going to paint theirs. They're not, they don't live together. Like, Paul's got his in his house and Hannah's got hers in her house. Um, I wouldn't, you see, I'd leave them natural like that. But they're going to paint theirs. Hannah wants going to paint hers white. And little Paul hadn't decided what colour he was going to paint his. I imagine he'll marble them. 
or rag roll them or something like that. Oh, see, show me age again. Nobody upstairs knows what rag rolling is. Do you not watch Changing Rooms in, all, in the early 80s? Rag rolling is a very old technique that people use too. What they do is you paint a wall. My whole, my mum's house, when she saw it, she loved it. She did the whole house in rag rolling. So you paint the wall in like a paler colour of what you want it to be, right? So say you paint it pale pink. Then you get a dark pink paint and you get rags like this. You screw the rag up like that. You put it in the paint and you go like that all over the wall. Like dappling all over the wall. That's rag rolling. They're not impressed. I can tell they're not impressed. Okay, quilting needles. Right, quilting needles. I'll show you the green ones first. The needles aren't green, it's just a packet that's green, right? 20 Quilters Premium Extra Fine 23 millimetre needles. Four pounds and 49 pence. Now what we love about these is this is it when you take it out of the packet. Take the top off and you're like, hmm, where can I get the needles out of there? You go like this. They don't fall out, you see, and then you put them there. You take one out. Would help if I put my glasses on, I could even see them. There we go. So then you take one out. Come on. You take it away, you do your stitching. Da, 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 da. Finish with it. You pop it back in. Oh! You pop it back in. Oh! Come on, John. You pop it back in. The packet like that. Put them away. Put the top on. Sorry, I haven't made that look easy at all, have I? Needles out, take one out, so stitch, 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 put it back in, put them away. They're nice and safe in the packet, they're not going to fall out. So they are the 20 Quilters Premium Extra Fine 23 millimetre. Or if you want the 26 millimetre, you get the one with the red top. That sounds like milk, we used to order red top milk, didn't we? 20 Quilters Needles, 26 millimetres with the red top. Again, £4.49. Pence. They have got a silver eye as well. There they are. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Nice. Put them away. Bye. Then they're nice and safe and secure. They won't roll around your drawer. They're all held to safe in there with a magnet, so they're not going to go anywhere. Okay, pins. Needles and pins. Pins. Quilters glass-headed pins, these are brilliant because you can iron over these. The, now, I wouldn't use these for, necessarily use these for dressmaking because they are a bigger, uh, uh, heftier pin. These ones that Janice was given yesterday. Um, but you can iron over the head of a, of a glass pin, it won't melt. Hemline Quilters glass-headed pins, there's 100 in there for three pounds. There's nothing interesting to see on the back. Three pounds and 99 pence. Should I get them out? There you go. See, they're extra long, these. Look at the length of them. So very good for when you're sandwiching, going through layers and things like that. My storage. Yeah. Oh, hang on. I've, that table had to be cleared before I went to do storage, didn't it? I'll, I, I, yeah, let, I'll let my, um, um, What's he called? New boy. I call him new boy. Clear that. Honestly, you know, your future depends on me, young man. <laughs> He's just like laughing. Um, ergonomically designed prim stitch ripper, four ninety nine. No, no, uh, no. Yeah, put it up, please. Four ninety nine. I am saying it with a smile. I'm not being aggressive. Be careful with it, though. Four ninety nine, lovely. Look at the stitch ripper. Look at wait, this is all soft touch around here. Everything you need really. Prim stitch ripper. Four pounds and ninety nine pence. Oh, got a picture to show you. Who's it from? You've gone very quiet with your messages actually in this last hour or so. Carol. Oh, we've lost it now, Carol. It's coming up. No. No? Oh, Carol, that's nice. Oh, it's gone again. It's a Bargello. 
Oh, it's Pam and Nikki Lintot design. Oh, it is made from a design role. Uh, 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 it was in today's quilter. Oh, that's lovely. But is it? It is bar... Oh, it's not Bargello, because they're all the same size. Oh, no, they're not. No, they're not. No, they're not, because there's a skinny one in the middle. So it is Bargello. Oh, Carol, it's lovely. I love the colours. Now, Carol, that would look lovely in my... Um, one of my bedrooms. Yeah. Not the Indian princess room. Uh, the Indian Press Center has got the most expensive bed in it. It's got the most expensive blind in it, but it has got damp patches on the ceiling, I noticed. So I think they weren't there a month ago when I did my last big clean and blow through. So I'm thinking it might have been the snow, but I'm hoping it's not a... Yeah, but I think it might have leaked through the fascia or something. Anyway, 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 anyway. We love this. Waterproof storage for your Indian princess bedroom. Uh, I love this. There's so much going on here. Let me take you down the front, first of all. So look, you've got all these... Um, you have to come above because I can't tilt it, this one. Sorry. Uh, all these sections here to keep your bobbins and your threads in and everything like that. But these come out, look. So you can keep other things there. Keep your chocolate bars. Nice size for a chocolate bar, that. Uh, now, Hannah, her Slimming World is going so well today. We've got a tin of quality streets. She had four of them. I kept saying 10, 20 sins. No, it's not. 10 sins, and it's fine. She has 15 sins a day, but she had had her 10 sins before quarter to seven this morning. Right. Then we've got these sections here. Yes, but I was just to save mine for the end of the day. Only because if you have them first thing, then you're going to crave for them in the afternoon, aren't you? Right. Right. Uh, you get this with the divider in here. Now, somewhere, oh yes, in this one, there are other dividers. Hang on, let me just get this. There you go. Right, so there are other dividers in here because both of these are the same size. Both these boxes are the same size. So you can either... Divide them in half like that, both of them in half like that, with the long divider. Or, take those out, you can do them in like this and do them dividers that way if you wanted to. So you have to show you. Because there's, uh, there's um, what do you call them there? Grooves, if you just slide them in there. So you could do one with ones going that way and ones with one going long. Or you could do both of them like that. Or you can, do both, or you can have them both just the same if you wanted. So that's those two. And they go in there, they slide in there. That one slides. How many? That goes in there. Obviously, you can take these labels off. You don't have to keep that simplicity label on. Then in the top shelf here, look at this, right? I love this. You've got three sections here. Uh, Hannah saying celery sticks, hummus, and... Carrot sticks in there, that's what Hannah's saying. No, this, this, you wouldn't because it'd be Quality Street, Dairy Milk and Milk Tray. Did you? Really? That's good. I'll put that one in the wrong way around. There you go. It does on your face. Anyway, there's nothing. She lost half stone last week, by the way, everyone. Um, there's this one. Again, it's the same with the dividers. Okay, so that one goes in there. And then the one in the middle is one big divide like that. One big divide like that. Brilliant. And then more, 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 more. Here, here. Put all your tools and implements in there on both sides. At the back here, there's a whole section here. Ruler in there. You can put a square ruler in there. You can put your patterns in there. And then you've also got a handle which extends upwards. And when that extends upwards, you've got another pocket, or another section, a secret one at the back there, which can only get to when the handle is up. So if you've got something you want to put in there, like keys that are secure, you put that in there, put that down there, put that down, nobody can get into it. It's brilliant. We like that. And look at the wheels. Look at the way the wheels move. Every direction you please. They're just so smooth. 
99 pounds, 99 pence. I love it. I, I'd have it just to have it like this. Yeah, my friend. It looks like a little robot, doesn't it, actually? But I'll think, well, it doesn't have to be sewing. It could be in your garage, couldn't it? You could have different screws and tools in there and things like that. Cake making a quick, well, you could. Because you could have your things for the top of the cakes in there, couldn't you? Your baubles, no, what do they call them? Those little um, silver and gold things. And then you could have your sprinkles in one. Brilliant. You have your, your wooden spoons in that one. I think it's brilliant. I wouldn't keep blocks of marzipan in there myself. Well, you would, I suppose, if they're wrapped up, wouldn't you? Oh, the bottom drawer fell out then. That wasn't very good, was it? I was too vigorous with it. Right, I'm going now. Right, what have I got left? I've got magic clips. How many minutes have I got? Okay, magic clips. The aircon's just switched itself off. Okay, the big magic clips. Now, is this the one that's open? It is, here we go. These are brilliant, right? These are like wonder clips, but you can leave these in while you stitch. So what you do is you can you see on there, you've got your, your measure. If you need to do um, different sized hems, like quarter of an inch, half an inch, or three quarter of an inch, you clip it in like that. You've got your markings there where you can put it. And then so you can stitch along here and your foot doesn't touch any of the, you know, so on one click, you have to take it out, take it out, take it out. You can, obviously you don't sew over this. You sew along here, along this edge here. But when you've got your markings on there, how big your um, seam is. You get 12 of them in a packet, 12 of the large ones, for £15.99. The, the bottom section is completely flat. So if you are doing a quilt or anything, you're keeping it flat, you're not lifting it. Because imagine if that was um, that way up, your, your quilt wouldn't be sitting properly on the floor or on the table, would it? A nice big size, £15.99. I'm just going to check those measurements for you. Yeah, quarter and uh, no, a quarter and a half and five eighths it is. Sorry, not three quarters. A quarter, a half, and five eighths. Brilliant. Say that again. Facebook Live's at half past twelve today. Yeah. Literally for two minutes. Then I've got the smaller ones. Like what? Small magic clip, 12 of these, 13 pounds. There won't be time. 13 pounds and 99 pence. 13.99. Um, uh, now tell you, uh, that's, that's um, the other Hannah's job. That's what she's supposed to do when we do them normally. 13.99. Small magic clips, 12 of them. Same. Now you've got measurements on these, but they're different measurements, aren't they? You've got quarter and half inch in this, that's all. Quarter and inch and a half an inch on there. Opens wide and lays flat for easy use. You see what I mean? No, no look. <laughs> look, this is what I mean about you sew along there. And you'd have to take them out, so that you'd have to take them out, the, um, take them off. 13.99. You get 12 of them in there. Patent pending. Precise sewing. No need to remove the clips. That looks like. What is it we have that looks like? Oh, that the threads. This looks a bit retro, doesn't it? The way the the, the packaging. Taylor Seville. This is. No. Oh yes, this. But I was thinking of. We have one box of thread, don't we? Yes, that one. Yeah. Right. Okay. So I'll put those away. Yes. Quilt as you go. Now, I don't know why. I've suddenly got one because we've got the website is full of quilt as you goes. I've just got one here to show you today. It's a quilt as you go express, this one. Now, it's not now, this, the reason this is different and it's called an express is you know, normally you get six blocks in a packet. Well, this is just one big block. You don't get six, you just get one big block. It's the 80% cotton, 80% uh, cotton, 20% polyester batting. What it is, is everything, I'll turn it around that way, the whole pattern is drawn out on the wadding for you, right? The whole, uh, the whole pattern is drawn out on the wadding. So there are your placement lines. 
22 seams is all you need to sew to make, let me just see what the finished size is, 40 by 50 inches. And it just quilts as you go along. So what you do is you um, put this on your backing and then you get the squares and triangles and, and um, yeah, squares and triangles and you, and you place them on, stitch it, turn it over and it'll be done. It'll be done in no time at all. Now it's, it obviously is, it's called Quilt to Go. It's obviously different than normal quilting, but it is a, a very effective way of getting a lots and lots of um, uh, different effects very, very quickly, whether you're a beginner or you've been doing it for, for a while. 17.99, but as I say, oh, excuse me, if you go onto our website, there are lots and lots and lots. If you like the idea of Quilt Go, there are lots and lots. We do rugs like it. We do Quilt Go Express like this, or we do others where you just have a 12-inch block to work on each time, so you never have a big amount to do. Because all I'd say with this one is if it's 40 by 50 inches, you're going to have 40 by 50 inches going through your machine on every seam that you do. £17.99. Right, I've just got to tell you now, the Pam and Nikki Lynn top book, over a third of the stock of these have gone already. It's a lovely book as well. And it's all made from design rolls or jilly, jilly, jelly rolls. Yeah, in a weekend, 15 quick and easy quilt patterns. My uh, next door neighbor, Chris, she's at the Chipping Camden Lady Quilters and they have um, jelly roll competitions sometimes where they see who can make the quick quilt the fastest out of jelly rolls. Oh, Tina. Uh, Tina, here you go, John. A sprocket or sprocket wheel is a profiled wheel with teeth and cogs that mesh with a chain, track, and other perforated or indented. That's this one. They're sprockets, you say. Or Hannah says what you find inside a robot. Where, where, which bit of the robot would they be inside? So it's like a cog wheel then, is that what it is? Thank you, Tina, for that. Yeah, before, the, before computers, because I'm sure computers will have those in, like an old-fashioned robot. 15.99. I love that. They're so beautiful. Please be careful, though, if you've got that in your book, in your, not in your book, in your basket. It's such a lovely book. That nine, look at the nine-patch sunburst as well. Depending on, obviously, the colours you pick, but it's so vibrant. That looks like it's got a bit of cave in that one, doesn't it? That looks like the Convolulu case. I mean, look at that. Isn't that so? Imagine that on a king size bed. That is lovely. Really, really lovely. Okay, uh, starters bundle of. Oh, over there. Yes, yes, it's not over there anymore. Uh, we've got this um, bundle that we've put together for you today. It's a, uh, a ruler, the big ruler, 24 by 6.5 inch ruler. You've got the cutting mat and you've got the uh, rotary cutter, £54.49. pence. Nice if you're just starting off or setting up a new workroom. Or like Michelle, who's Clint, uh, her husband Clint, he's built her a, 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 she, a she shed to do her workroom in the garden. It's like a log cabin. It's something like um, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers when they build the barn. No, that's not how they do it. Yeah, they build the barn. No, Oklahoma, they build. Well, which one did they build the barn in? I can't remember now. Seven brides, seven brides. How to quilt? Oh, I didn't see the glue pen. Right, um, how to quilt book by Rachel Reynolds. Really, really lovely starter book. Now, English paper piecing, when you do this, uh, now they don't mention the, um, they've hand basted theirs. What Lucy does is she does hers with a glue stick. Glue, yeah, glue stick, which is this. Now, don't worry when you get yours home, they will have glue, uh, the glue will be blue. Let me show you on this one. Yeah, the glue is blue, right? And you put it on the fabric and it's blue on the fabric. It dries clear. So don't worry about that. So $5.99, you get this and you get one refill for £5.99. pence. And then on our website, we have got other refills. If those, if you know, those two, if you use those two and you need more, there's more on our website. Let's have a look at tomorrow's menu because it's me and little Paul tomorrow. And look, we've got a patchwork market tote with Deborah Sims at eight o'clock. We've got a sunrise to sunset quilt with Lucy Brennan. I don't know what that is. Stylish, oh, stylish wide leg trousers with Deborah Sims. Blimey, they've been busy. 
And then 11 o'clock, we've got the basket applique bag with Lucy Brennan. Well, I won't be doing much talking tomorrow, will I, with those two? Oh, that's fantastic. What a lovely day. Really, really lovely day. Uh, don't forget to get your birthday block in. It has to be in by the 20th. Has to be 12 inch finished, 12 and a half not. Don't finish it, don't finish. So make it 12 and a half inches, but so we can sew them together. There will be prizes. You won't get it back. All the terms and conditions are on the website. And don't forget, from tomorrow morning at eight o'clock, we're on Sky. Channel 678. As well as here, we're still staying here, don't we? We're still on Freeview as well. We're still on uh, YouTube. We're still on the internet, but we're also on Sky tomorrow from eight o'clock. Now that is, um, I'm going to do a Facebook Live in half an hour's time. It's all about that, but it's only going to be a quickie. So if you've got any messages, if you're going to send in a message on the Facebook Live, get it in within the first two minutes because I'll be gone otherwise. Um, and uh, there was something else I was going to say, but anyway, thank you very much for your company today. I won't fold my arms, that's not very good. Friend it's not very friendly, is it? I'll, it is cold in here, yeah, the aircon's gone. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning at eight o'clock, both on Freeview, and on YouTube, and on the internet, and on Sky 678. Fly up, up and away with Lucy Brennan on Tuesday as she sets off to the sky with this hot air balloon lap quilt. On Tuesday the 16th of January, Lucy will be sharing this delightful pattern designed by Sarah Ashford as first seen in issue 56 of Love Patchwork and Quilting. This perfectly pretty quilt brings the magic of flight to anyone who sees it. Bob away in the grey basket flying high with the help of brilliant balloons created using simple solids of pastel pinks and vivid yellows, blues and greens, a real spectrum of colour on a crisp white background. So join us on Tuesday the 16th of January at 8am to see this simple and stylish hot air balloon design come to life. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78.